yeah, yeah. Good morning, Mob 2. Happy Friday. It's 
Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start to the summer. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing all right. Yeah. Can you hear me? Don't tell me you can't hear me. Yeah. The real gangsters, y'all. How's it going? Joseph Montanero, salute. Michael in the house. Mechiel. Mechiel. What's up? Nice morning for a blunt. I guess so. It's the uh, holiday weekend. Thank you, Ranger fan. Thank you for being here, brother. At least you people show up for me. I don't get to have 150 people waiting for me. It is what it is. Antonino, Andiamo, Steve Cutler. That's facts, B. Yeah, what's up? Happy Memorial Day weekend. Yard bird for days, butter skin for life. Yeah. You got yard bird. There's somebody in here with that name. Look at this. <laughs> I saw this name. I started laughing. Yard bird running wild. Yeah. Forever wild. You got yard bird. J Fed, good morning. Oh, she sent me monkey love, and she's at work. All right. You have a wonderful day yourself. Good morning, Bambi. Chris Capello in the house. All right. Dave. All right, well, let's get this show on the road. I'm going to do it. I'm going to press the button right now so you guys get ready. Here we go. Oh, I pressed it. Holy shit. All right, for the first time ever, people, the scum have been unblocked. Hopefully, uh, some of these people act nice. Yeah, everybody's unblocked now. Yo, NC07, good morning. I just got your number last night. I'm going to call you. Somebody told me to call you. Give you a call. So that's what I'm going to do. Joe Root. Salute. Scott H. Good morning. Mustache Pete in the house. Jesse Roth. You think I need this crap? Sally. Good morning. Sally and Jesse Roth back to back. So that's kind of like Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Is there a Raphael in here? You guys don't remember Sally, Jesse, Raphael. You might be too young for that. <laughs> Yard bird. It's what's for dinner. Yeah, you guys, you guys got some of that yard bird? How much that yard bird go for? Yeah, I think I'll sit down and have some yard bird. Is she? I'm going to get the early bird, <clears throat> the early yard bird special. Yeah. Minnie, good morning, Minnie. <clears throat> Brian Bundle's in the house. Salute. <laughs> yard bird and proud. It's a shame, you know, that guy's leaving. It's a real shame. Ah, what a fucking man, baby. Crying over there. I'm going to quit YouTube. You guys don't love me anymore. Blah. He's trying to say this is what he does for a living, which I guess he's right. This is kind of what he does for a living. But don't bitch to me, you know. You pissed off your own... Uh, supporters, you know, with your big mouth. Nasty big mouth. Being mean to people. That's what you get, you little prick. Hey, you got nothing. Lance. Kicking it strong old school from the ghetto. Yeah, that's how we like to do our things. That's right, Lance. 
It's going to be like that scene in Ghostbusters when the ghosts come out. Yeah, it's Memorial Day weekend, so we're having a little unblock party for the scumbags in memoriam. Since time and memoriam, they've been a friggin' scumbag, and uh, that's why they got blocked in the first place. But I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. So far, no scumbags. I don't know what's going on. The scumbags don't like Tony Pizza anymore, and they definitely don't like me either. So I don't know. I don't know. I had more to say last night. I was supposed to do a show last night, and it got interrupted. I had to stop it as soon as it started. God damn it. Took a little nap, and now we're here. Still tired. I just literally woke up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about some yard bread. Because he's the gift that keeps on giving. Even though he's gone now, I don't know what I'm going to do. All the turkey based babies out there, all the Devado eaters, what are we going to do without this guy? And then Angel's leaving at the same time? The same day they both say, hey, uh, we're quitting YouTube. We've had enough. It's very odd, you know? Some, I'm not saying they're working in cahoots, but it's odd the way things work out that way, you know? Weird coincidences in life. It's just odd. I guess the mob tube is changing, you know? Things change on here. Moods and people and people come and go. You know, one thing about, uh, I guess I'll include myself. Yeah, definitely I'll include myself. There's something about myself, FBS, Lee Cole, maybe one or two others. You know, we've been around since the beginning of this thing, this mob tube thing. A lot of people have come and gone. They don't last. Flash. Chica champagne. They don't last. No, they don't last. It's been almost two years now. It's going to be June, so I think uh, Lee started in June, FBS in July, me in August. Well, at the end of the, I'm at the end of July. Two years. We're the ones who stuck around. Everybody else, uh, they fizzled out, you know. I don't know. It's got to mean something, you know. It's got to be good for something. Antonino, five memberships. Thank you, brother. DJ Kaz, Sonny Soprano. So Blow is a Banana Boat Booty Bandit. Sally, Sally Carroll. And Angela's right leg. Not the right winger, her right leg. It's a nice leg. Th Congratulations for getting your memberships. And thank, thank you, Antonino. You should all be thanking Antonino. Shout out to DJ Kaz. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing, man. Thank you for buying me memberships, bro. God knows I need all the support I could get. And Miss Charlie, wow, Charlie's in the house. I still like you, Gunsmoke. <laughs> oh, thank you, Charlie. Oh, 10, 10 uh, pounds. 10 British pounds. Thank you. Do you like me or you love me? You said like. I guess you like me. I love you. Thank you. Senor Zesti. Hey, hi, puppy, wepa. I'm feeling fantastic today. I'm going to wear my purple wig. You know, people, sometimes you have to wear a purple wig. Because like the Torah says, if you don't wear a wig, you ain't shit. Okay, people? <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Whoa, baby. Fucking idiot. He's got yard bird. Does that mean his sims are going to come here? Maybe, probably. 
you know, people, sometimes I say illiterate things. But I think I'm smart. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Ranger fan. I've been here since FBS's second week. Uh, I was here um, at the end of July. I started making my videos. But I, I didn't start watching FBS until almost like a month later. At least two, three weeks later. Like mid-August. And uh, I don't know. We started becoming friends. But yeah, I had no idea about uh, FBS for a, a few weeks there. I knew about Lee Cole because Lee Cole was starting to talk shit about Jimmy and stuff, going back and forth. I was making my funny little videos. Doug Jack, salute. Doug Jack in the house. So yeah, I think uh, I think Lee's going to be celebrating his uh, two-year anniversary on here soon. Pizza will be back today. That's what I told somebody. Somebody told me uh, they wanted to take bets how soon he was going to come back. I said, he'll be back by tomorrow afternoon. I thought he'd be back by tomorrow night, but I told somebody else tomorrow afternoon. He can't stay away. This is his bread and butter. I don't know what he's talking about. He's trying to act like he's too cool for school. He needs this shit. These senior citizens on YouTube aren't going anywhere. This is all they got. That's what I'm thinking. An angel. I don't know. This is like, you know. This is part of her social life, you know. She's going to say goodbye to all these people. Well, I think she said she'll come back once in a while. She's going to take a break, which we all need a break. I don't blame her. I take breaks. And then she says something interesting that I caught. I didn't listen to her show, really. I caught, like, a couple minutes. Somebody told me to tune in. But I think she said she discovered something about somebody. She made a discovery. She was going to take a break or she was leaving YouTube or something. Now, I wonder what she discovered. I think she might have found out who made those memes. I don't think she liked the answer she got. So, that was interesting. She wouldn't say what it was. I'm just assuming, you know. <clears throat> and then, you know, pizza talking shit about leaving. I saw some messages like, come on, man, it's Team Pizza. How could you let this happen? And then Tony Pizza responded like, there is no Team Pizza. What Team Pizza? Something like that. It was funny. I guess Team Pizza is no more. They got destroyed. He destroyed it himself. How many pounds for loving, Gunsmoke? How many pounds for loving? 10 pounds is always nice. 10 pounds looks pretty. And <laughs> Bob says, Bob says, says, this is how I learned the English language, people. I like to speak it a little bit, but sound smart at the same time. Yeah, what's up, war? Salute. Anyway, if any of you mob hump ones, if, uh, if any of you mob humps want to hop on, we're gonna have a little party today. It's gonna be a different type of show today. I am blocked all the scumbags, and uh, we're gonna have some guests. Maybe good old Yardbird would like to come on and uh, come on the show and yeah, curse me out or something. I know he's up bright and early. Ranger fan says, Gunsmoke, you and FBS got to set up a visit. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully this summer sometime. <laughs> if, uh, you know, if my show does good, 
Maybe I'll have some funds to go out to Pennsylvania and hang out. Meet up with uh, Jeff Nadu too. We'll, we'll go hang out, go do something, grab a burger. <clears throat> oh, shit. Look at this. Yo, Frank. What's up, buddy? Good morning. What's up? Good morning. Bro? Ah, a little under the fucking weather. Hangover? No, 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 no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, no, um, change of weather. So I was up. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, you got to remember, I'm by Canada. It's fucking cold. And then the weather stopped. And I came from a nicer weather to a bad weather. And then, you know, I'm getting old, too. So I got fucking got hit with the. Um, I'm getting a little better today, though. But yesterday was pretty bad. Yeah. No. <clears throat> God damn it. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. What's, what's up? Not the man. Uh, what I miss? You didn't miss much. I guess Angel's talking about she's leaving YouTube and. Tony Pizza said the same thing. and Maybe they're leaving together, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's one of them rendezvous. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to meet up with Angel. We're going to go out for the odd bird. Yeah, we're going to have some pina coladas. Yeah. Yard bird. I, I doubt it, but who knows? Allergy season. Yeah, it could be that too, Anthony. You know? um, yeah, I definitely got that this year, man. <laughs> uh, pollen everywhere. Fucking trees. Yeah, that dog pollen, man. She's peeing. <laughs> yeah, pollen too. It's Polly, dude. Polly. <clears throat> so did uh, you see the? Did you see the uh, interview we did? Yeah, I saw most of it. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. professional. He, well, uh, like, well, yeah. that was part of the stipulations. Yeah. You ask one person that you ask me about one person or any person. I'm saying uh, he, he didn't do his regular. You what know. do you think of this guy? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy and that, <laughs> I, I, it's like, all right, I'll see you later. Yeah, he didn't do that. No, no, he did good. Yeah. Well, you know, the guy was cool about it too, um, James. Oh yeah, yeah. He called me. They got what they wanted. I am. I got what I wanted. I guess you know it's not bad, but whatever. Yeah. Yo, Antonino, you're right. Pizza did set the bridge on fire when he left. He told everybody to go fuck themselves. And he said, so long, suckers. Hey, he Jesse, how are you? Yeah, Boston Red in the house. What's up? <laughs> Uh-oh, I, I got Cletus in the house. He's one of them. He's back. Look, he's looking. With Cletus, uh, with Cletus uh, Bard? Yeah, he was. I think so, yeah. Why'd you, why? I had over 500 people blocked. Why? They come in here and say crazy shit. Cletus was one of the good ones. He was? Wasn't he? I don't know. Look at his face. He looks like a young Doc Brown. Looks like a young, uh, what's the other guy? The, the coffee guy. What coffee guy? Coffee cop guy. Uh, field coffee cock? No, not coffee cock. <laughs> The, the feel touch guy, the, the doctor. Oh, uh, Al, uh, Uncle Bad Touch. Yeah, Uncle Bad Touch. He's a he young Uncle, like Bad. Uncle Bad Touch. Yeah, he played him in a movie. I could see that. Young Uncle Bad Touch. Look, Cletus says pizza took my wrench for no reason. Yeah, I heard he took a lot of wrenches. I heard that he, he took all the wrenches. A, away. Huh? You should have a discount. Uh, give wrenches out <laughs> to those who used to be with pet pizza. Huh? A sale. For only ten bucks. Yeah, I don't know. Um, didn't Anastasia do the same thing? He was selling memberships and he got whacked. Um, I don't know. Is that <laughs> what he was doing? That uh, guy was crazy. Yeah. Well, I gotta. A I gotta ask Ray Mundy about it. I guess you don't know nothing. No, Ray, Ray Mundy knows all about. Right. It. Mm -hmm. I see dead gangsters uh, club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's his second. You know cousin. my uncle uh, Chooch from uh, 18th Avenue. Who's that? Uh, Danny Trio. Yeah, I think it was last night. Or where did I hear it? It was Danny Trio, and he was like naming names, like of people he knew, like uh, Tony the Bib and yeah, some Tony. other guy. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, okay. And then, he said, yeah. the floor. and then I shot him. He took my bullets. He was wounded by my bullets. No, I like how he put, he sets up the fucking whole scenery for his shooting and uh, slash murder. Uh-huh. 
We went in, we asked for the jewelry, and three guns were there, and mine just happened to be the one that went off, and he died. He, he did what he did. He bled out, and uh, he passed away. Now I'm here. That's it. And, and, and the rats are scumbags. Full yeah. of them. Fuck them. Yeah. That's right, Lee. Yeah. He's still on Facebook. Somebody told me that last night, actually. Which is fucking beyond me. I don't know what the what, what, what is he retarded. And the, the guy told me it's like if, if anybody believes this guy on Facebook, knowing full well that he's been exposed, then shame on them. And uh, you know, I guess it's like a different world over there on Facebook. They don't know what's going on. What goes on in that fucking imaginary head of theirs? You know, like fucking. Even if two people think he's who he is, that's good with him. That's fine. Yeah. You know, if he, as long as somebody believes him, I hope they're not yeah. getting the money. He doesn't deserve shit. He's full of there's shit. There's got to be a reason why they do it. What's up, Mustache Pete? Uh, there's got to be a reason why they do it. Yeah, I don't know. He talks a good, uh, a good one. You know, he talks a good uh, game. But he had me. I, no, the the acting had me convinced that he knew people. But yeah. But then the more I fucking pried into it, I could tell. Uh, <laughs> I things could tell. Were coming out. Yeah, things were coming out, you know? The dead yeah. horse shit. Yeah. The no, I think horse. I still believed him up until that point. I'm not sure. The dead horse well, shit. When he was going off that day. Yeah. Cock gobbler. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I could find him talking shit, though. About Haram not Harambe. What was he saying? He was saying something. But anyway, God damn it, Frank. Yeah, Jesse, uh, I've had people ask me or lead me that way but uh, about acting and stuff, but who knows? Maybe one day. Yeah, you should do the Witsec Mafia. Start, yeah, can I get in it? <laughs> if I talk to Angel, would she talk to her brother, maybe get me a part? Maybe they've been filming scenes for the past decade. Who knows? Hey, sure. I think I'll have I think I'll have a drink under this palm tree since I'm hanging out with the rest of the rats. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder what they're doing back in the in jail. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Where is this prick? Who's gonna play Angel? Uh. <laughs> You assholes! <laughs> you should all die! Who could we get for her? Yeah, but who's on the beach? Ah. Who would be a good actress? Uh, what's one of those... Uh... Carla from Cheers. Rhea Perlman? Well, you know why? They don't always look alike in the fucking <laughs> movies. Yeah, yeah, why not? I don't know. It's going to be nice. Maybe like Annette Benning or somebody. Junior could be Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> well, who could be saving the ball? Like some six foot five guy? Gronk. Hey, Alex, Janet the Hot. You know, you know, they miscast all the time. You know that. Yeah, I know. Especially nowadays. No, nowadays it has to be woke. So they're gonna have uh What's that lady? Fuck. She's always winning an Oscar and then giving a speech about the woke shit, you know, about how the country's evil. Not Which Angela one? Bassett. We'll have Angela Bassett maybe play her, but there's another one. Alfre Wooded or some shit. Not Alfre Wooded, but somebody that looks like her. Some other woman. She always Angela wins Bassett can play Connie and the, the, the remake of The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's come to. If they have to ever make a remake, that's she has, you know. To have the African American Godfather. Who would yeah. play Marlon Brando? Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> yeah. How about Michael? Urkel. Uh, Urkel could play Michael and then he turns evil. You know what I mean? You got to have one lesbian, too. So I guess uh, Ellen DeGeneres will be Fredo or something. She'll be, she'll be the adopted uh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. Viola Davis, that's who. Yeah. Viola Davis is going to play Angel. In the movie, Viola Black, Viola Davis. Well, she's yeah, well, yeah. Uh, is she? Yeah, Joe Bag of Donuts. Salute, he's getting his drink all. 
Sean Landon Clark, if Christy Alley was still alive and could adopt and could adopt the accent, could you be anything. eating a donut? Christy Alley passed away though. Yeah. If, just, if she was still alive, she'd be eating two donuts. <laughs> Poor you. What'd you say about my father? Right, right, right. Come here, you ba- ch- chase a fucking Gravano with a fucking uh, bread roller. <laughs> or a loaf of bread, just bopping him on the head. Right. Come here, you motherfucker. Yeah. This is for my father and my brother. <laughs> what she called Karen? No, she... Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Gravano's son? Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah, yeah actually... Sammy's son. I gotta give I gotta give a fucking credit for that one. That was a good one, yeah. That was funny. She looks like Divine. Devado Eaters. Anybody remember Divine from the Jonathan Waters films? No. Who the fuck is Jonathan mind. Waters? Yeah, Jonathan Waters films. Them stupid what? fucking films. You never seen them like uh Hairspray and He looked like Gomez Adams with the fucking mustache. Oh, I didn't watch that shit. But you talking about that guy that was in Adam's family? Well, no, the director looked like him. John, what know. was his name? He was a fucking weirdo. Jesse remembers Divine. Pink <laughs> Flamingos. That was the movie. It was stupid. Pink Flamingos. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> can see Lee watching that. Right. Pink Flamingos, dude. My the original Hasbro, yes. Fran Drescher could, should play Angel. Yeah, that'd be good. Divine was a handsome woman. The one was funny. They're going to release five seasons of Witsec Mafia all at once. I can see that happening. The Vine had the ultimate Guido anthem when the 80s, when we were kids. You know, they played in every fucking club. Native Love. Anybody remember that? No? <laughs> no. Native Love. Yeah, I'm serious. All the Guidos used to love that song. Native Love. Yeah, you'd hear it at 86th Street with the Goombas. Cruising and all that crap. Spring love, come back to me. No, that's spring that's love. That's uh, Stevie <laughs> B. Alex, thank you for the 1999, my brother. Sorry, not sorry. I nominate Jabba the Hutt. He wants Jabba the Hutt to play the role. That's not nice. <laughs> hey, who, what role? He wants Jabba the Hutt to play Angel in the movie. I'm not even going there. That's yeah, a, I know that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be another show. Just, I, just yeah. next. No, no, that was his suggestion. I, I, you know, he sent me 1999. I had to read it. Oh, okay. Oh, for 1999, you got another suggestion? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I feel Tom, the re- Yeah. Tom Sizemore's pizza. If he was still alive, yeah. Who made no, the don't tape? Give him that. Come on, no, nah, please. Who made the tape? You got the tape. What's it take? Like Pookie, the white Pookie. Yeah, well. Christy Alley was hot as f- fire grease from Mario's Market back in the 80s. I'm sure at one time she was a stunning looker. Ranger fan, I'm not going to read that, but that's an excellent, excellent choice. Where'd you see that? Joe Bag of Donuts says hairspray was good. April, good morning, April. Rosie John Travolta O'Donnell. was in the John Travolta was in the uh, remake. <coughs> he played the mother. He dressed in drag. He played the mother. He did. Hey, hey that's what it got to do. It. Give mommy a hug. Hey, Ricky Lake was in one of them too, I think. Ricky Lake. You could be on Ricky Lake. Remember that song? Yeah. Rosie By the O'Donnell. Oscar. Yeah, Rosie O'Donnell should come out of retirement. Uh, hold on, somebody, somebody What's the right? Case. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, that's that's true. Yo, Chris Capello, thank you so much for the twenty, brother. Send me a twenty dollar cash app and FMT. That's a new name. Send me five dollars for a good morning. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to the show. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you guys for that support. And uh, Carrie Busey can play Tony <laughs> <laughs> Rod Wilder and Kane Corso. Yeah, <laughs> who's gonna play Lee? Oh, they gotta they gotta parole that guy, the BTK killer. <clears throat> oh, yeah, or maybe John Goodman. Uh, 
John Goodwin. Yeah, get his ass out of retirement. How about John Lipkow? Who the fuck is that? That's the guy who uh, and Dexter played the serial killer also. Oh, John Lipkow. Yeah, he he's he's pretty pretty famous. John Goodwin, Mike John said. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and who's gonna play me? Uh, let me think. Any Puerto Rican kid, like in the name. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have. Uh, John Leguizamo. Oh no, I hate that guy, man. He's so fucking woke. Yeah, you know I'm not. You got nothing to say in this. No, fuck him. He was mad that uh, this the new Super Mario Brothers movie wasn't woke enough. They didn't have Latino and uh, black characters as the main characters no. for Super Mario and uh, Luigi. He He's grew up ass. in uh, Jackson Heights, I think. Yeah, something like that. Woodside, Jackson Heights, yeah. Yeah, he's Colombian, I'm pretty sure. I think so. But uh, he's too woke for me. I used to think he was funny back in the day. Late 90s, early 2000s. He was funny. He's New York funny. Yeah. You know, he's that he's that he's that kid that everybody had that one kid that hung out with them that was funny. He was yeah. that guy, you know, in New York. I, I don't see him as you know, huh? He's woke New York though. He's kinda like those those weirdos that always goes to the Nick games and shit, like Spike Lee and I don't know. Uh fuck him. They're yeah, artsy. Artsy people are weird, man. I guess. John Malkovich is guaranteed as convict guy, yeah. Robert Rosso, <laughs> played by John Malkovich. Fucking A. the plot where he parks his car on the freeway and starts singing that, um, that, what's that movie with Lady Gaga where the, the guy uh, hangs himself? Uh, what? He started singing that song while he was fucking all high on Met. <laughs> I was like, look at this fool. You know this song? He goes, it reminds him of his uh, girl Martha and he starts singing. <laughs> Did you see the video? No. Yeah, he starts singing that song from that movie with uh, Lady Gaga and that other guy from uh, The Hangover. Oh, uh, Bradley Cooper. Born. There you go. Bradley Cooper. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, the loser starts singing. That's her favorite song, and it reminds me of me. I said, okay, hang yourself then. <laughs> Yo, Jackie Chan's going to play my role. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. <laughs> uh, Holy Pizza says, I eat cat. I'm, I'm a Korean. I eat cat. You ever hear that song, The uh, the The Box? No. That rap song. I remember a channel called the box back. No, then. it was the ding dock, tick tock. You know what you want to say. But they have one on the YouTube called the walk. And it has this Chinese guy singing. <laughs> the walk. It's a it's a rap song. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I Check took the walk to Poland. Oh no, you're killing it. Dominic Lambert. You know, I get that shit a lot, mustache Pete. Dominic Lombardozzi could play. Yeah. Could yeah, give him a little goatee. <clears throat> yeah, I could see that. Robert B. Good morning. I think Brendan. Good morning, Robert B. Brendan Fraser can play Lee. Yeah, the whale. He just did the whale. He's got his weight still. I'm sure. Nah, he's not. He's not. He's not. He lost a little weight. He lost about eighty pounds. <laughs> now he's about five twenty. I don't think that was a fat suit, Joe Bag of Donuts. I think uh, he really gained Stop weight for that role. Frankie. That's a great fucking like Italian cop name. What? No, Frankie? no offense, Falcon Eddie. You know, like in those Quentin Tarantino movies, like Specky. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, yeah, it's yeah. Falcon Eddie. <laughs> you had to watch when you said that shit back in the neighborhood. Hey, you're dressed like a cop. What are you trying to say? You know, with the with the weirdo mentality. Yeah. You trying to say I'm a fucking cop? Yeah. Not uh, Tommy, I didn't say that. I think he did. No, I didn't really. Bit. Just a little bit. Uh oh, here we go. What? Sean Landon Clark says John Lake Wazamo said that whites were taking jobs of minorities in movies. Yeah, he <coughs> took the job of an Italian guy in the first Super Mario Brothers film. Exactly. But no, they want to culturally appropriate. Movies now, you know, now the Little Mermaid is all woke and shit. 
Little Mermaid was a ginger redhead back in 1989. Yeah, anyway, no, I get it. Well, let's move along from that subject. Uh, yeah, Frank yeah, that's a pretty good. On that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Little Mermaid's all African American. That's fine. I mean, you know, it is what it is. That's <laughs> yeah, what it is what it do. is. Fuck it. I don't yeah. watch cartoons anymore. They should have picked another child. We all know black people can't swim. How about De Niro as Lee? He's Nobody got heard that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see Robert De Niro as uh, Lee Cole. Philip C. will happen as Frank. Thank you, man. That's that's good. He's <laughs> he died of a heroin overdose. No, he did, didn't he? Yeah, 2014. Maybe he can play Vito. Mustache Pete said he heard that. He heard it. <laughs> Just a stereotype. They used to say that about hockey too. And now you look, uh, there's a lot of good African, not uh, Canadian, um, African um, hockey players. The fat bald Nigerian, yeah. The fat bald Nigerian. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of Nevada eaters. The fat bald Iranian. Now he's a Nigerian. Oh man, the fat Vin bald Kore- the fat bald Korean. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> Vin Diesel will play my role. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to see a funny video? Yeah, there's gun smoke coming down the block. Hide the yeah. fucking dog. Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Yeah, you almost had me. You didn't have your car. I'm getting a lot of good oh, Don Rickles, Frank. Yeah, maybe that's the oh, closest man. one. I, I agree. You know who looks like Don Rickles? Oh. Fucking uh, <laughs> we used to say that to me, me and um uh, Ali Boy's brother Larry used to laugh all the time when um Jack the Ross. Jack the Ross looks like Don Rickles. <laughs> he acts like him. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? All right, hey. <laughs> Rob G might know. He's you probably seen uh Jackie a couple of times. What's up, Rob? Good morning. Good morning, Rob. Rob G in the house. Let me check my chat here. What's going on? Um, I'm pretty surprised. I unblocked everybody, and uh, I don't think this. Oh, well, there's one scumbag. Did you see him? He oh. says, "Please block me again, jerk off." Don't worry, he they did? got you. Yeah, they blocked you. Who's that? Who's that? Angry Sidge. Ang- Angry Sidgy. Angry Sidgy. Sig- oh, that's that guy from Detroit. Oh yeah. Every time I see him on some fucking thing, he says, I'm from Detroit. I'm an angry Siggy or so, whatever. Yeah, if I was uh, living in Detroit. Is Siggy's a derogatory term sure. for a Sicilian. Yeah, I know. I used to say Siggy, but you guys say Siggy. I don't um, know what they say. I just heard it a couple of times. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. All right. I won't say it then. I don't want to. No, I don't care. I just I don't know. It, it sounds slimy. Uh. Does it? Uh, it doesn't sound slug. Hey, BX in the house. Siggy, Siggy sounds like a slug. Sigilian. I don't know. Sigilian, Siggy. That just got fucking rearranged. Yeah, well. BX, Gambino, I'm here. Just had to make sure pizza wasn't going live. Yeah, I know. God damn it. This guy hey, comes Ryan. in here and tells me, hey, Gunsmoke, sorry. Pizza's live. I got to go. I'm like, you motherfucker, bro. How dare you? It is what it is. Uh, what else was I going to talk about last night? There was some other shit. I don't know. I fucking forgot. I think these derog- people take these fucking things a little bit too fucking serious. What's a derogatory term for a maniacal fanook in Miami? <laughs> Maniacal Fanook in Miami. I didn't know there was a category. Como se dice? Como se dice? <laughs> what I'm trying to say, I want my family left alone. Yeah. What I want. What I want. Is a guarantee. Remember that guy McCluskey was so into that veal, he, t- he, goes, he goes, you don't mind if we talk Italian right now. Yeah, go right ahead. Yeah. Oh, I jacked off a lot of young punks like him. <laughs> Hold him up. Yeah. Hold him there. Why, you little punk. Enzo the Baker steals the show. 
Enzo, it's me, Enzo. I'm here not to do a fucking thing for you. He takes the fucking flowers and he flings them. Yeah, he's like, here, take this shit. And he's like, uh, stand up straight. Put your hand in your pocket. But I don't have a fucking gun. I'm a loser. Okay. In this fucking movie. There's a problem. I will help for your father. Yeah. For your father. I will die like a fucking peasant. Mr. Frank Delivery. Huh? Mr. Yeah. Frank Delivery. DHL. Best, best oh, yeah. feel in the city. DHL. Yeah, hey, Rami could be Enzo. The bagel shop owner in the remake. Rami could be Enzo. Yeah, perfect. The it's bagel me. shop owner. The I, am Enzo, the, I am Rami, the bagel guy. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> you want the alley? Lee Cole sent me. Lee Cole sent me. Fuck. Piece of shit. <laughs> All right. The movie's over. All right. I made it to the end of the movie. You trying to follow me? Vito Corleone trying to follow me? This is not good. In my country, this is very bad. In my country, they would tell you, the Mossad would take you off the plane. They would say, why are you here? Who are you here to see? Why are you here to see? <laughs> right, right. And, and, and throw you off the plane. And then throw you off the plane. They say, no, we do not want you. We do not want you. We are not criminal. Oh, man. You what know the pilots on the what, what? What's the name of that airline? That the Israeli airline, High Lie, J I Lie. What, what was it called? High Lie, J A L A or something like that. I I, I can't put High Lie. Yeah. No, the airline that that flies. What was it called? Jala, Jala. Is that what it was? Was it a fucking uh, <laughs> Saudi Arabian airline? Jala, come fly, Jala. You remember fucking remember airplane the movie? Airplane, yeah, I remember that late seventies. All these all these planes are on the runways. It's international planes, and the Jewish one has a yarmulke in the beard. The actual <laughs> plane. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> it's a stupid shit, bro. How do they get away with that shit now? Nah, I don't know. Nah, not not nowadays. A BB Airlines. L L O. There you go. L O. Um. <laughs> the got it right. You know the pilots. They 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 uh they carry. They've been carrying for the longest. Yeah. Which they should. Bear pushy said, uh, "Mermaids don't exist. So who gives a fuck what color it is?" Which you're right. Who gives a shit? You're right. That is a lie. I, I see mermaids exist. There's no unicorns. I am pizza. The devado eater. Devado eater. All right. Bamonte's Veal Rolatini. Bamonte's, yes. That's in Greenpoint. I haven't mm-hmm. heard that. Tommy Lasorda used to go there. You know what Tommy Lasorda is? No. He used to, um, he was a famous manager for the Brooklyn, Do- the, 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 the LA Dodgers, rather. Oh, God damn him. Bear pushy. There was a lot of good restaurants in Greenpoint at one time. I wonder if Kono's is still there. Anybody know? Gunsmoke, who's going to play Skidmark Bandit in this movie remake? Skid, Skidmark Bandit. Uh, Lance. I guess, La- yeah. yeah. We'll get Brian Joe DiMaggio, right. too. Okay. Ra- okay, so Ranger fans from Greenpoint. He knows where all these restaurants are. Monty's, he said, uh, Joe DiMaggio used to go there too. Wow, yeah, that popular place. A gun could be played by Keanu Reeves with a goatee and shaved scalp. Right. Jesus. I think these people forgot what I look like. I should show my face on here more. <laughs> I got to start That's shaving more. Uh, Williamsburg, Williamsburg, right? Yeah. Did you ever get into these chicken coops back in the day? These assholes have chicken coops on the fucking top of the apartments. And uh... my dad used to have chickens. Yeah. Yeah, or, man. Or pigeons, can... whatever. Well, well, my dad basically—I'll keep it shut. He came to this country uh, late in life, you know. So he kind of hard to get adapted to city life. Well, you know, he was from the mountains and everything like that. So we had a yard in Bushwick, and he used to get a whole bunch of fucking chickens and put them out there. Yeah. 
Oh, well, you got Yardbird. You got fucking Yardbird. Yardbird. Uh, you know, Yardbird's also a term in the military for like somebody who does menial work. I never even heard that term in my life until Pizza said it. Yeah, like like a Yardbird is uh somebody who's new and they make them do menial work and just uh oh. like 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 hazing. You know, they they he's a Yardbird. Yeah, but it, it it's definitely affiliated with chickens. All right. Well, who's gonna play Chicky in this movie? Joe Bagadona says, thanks, Frank. Chris Farley could have played him if he was alive. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. Is he still alive? I don't think so. Well, he'll be the right, he'll be like Chicky. They got, they, you know, they've done enough. Hey, they committed enough crime, both of them, about the same level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a badass. Oh. Yeah, but you did seven months. You did seven fucking months. How much of a bad? I, I, that's okay. That's I don't like to fuck with anybody, but just that shit just pisses me off. Guy does ten days of fucking jail. And he wants to talk about how hard he is. Yeah, well, it's another guy. Big disappointment to me. Who? Chicky. <clears throat> Who? Who? You Ooh, know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Casparosa actually uh, said that Chicky's pretty funny. He is. No, what he does, like, and um, the other guy too. What's his, the guy that that's his sidekick? Uh, Damien. Yeah, they said they, yeah. you know, they're trying to get into like movies and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've well, seen if that's some the case, action. then you know what? Well, good luck. Good luck to them. Yeah. No, I do wish him luck. Yeah. You know? If they have a dream, let them chase it. Exactly. Sally says, why are you guys picking all dead actors? <coughs> all the best ones are dead. Like good actors today? There's a lot of good actors today. Not really. I don't even watch movies today. Who the hell's good today? I, I'm beginning to like Brad Pitt as he's getting older. Johnny Depp is always good. Yeah. yeah. He's iconic. I mean, you're going to remember him for a very long time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, but that's really it. I mean, Al Pacino sucks now. De Niro sucks. Now. He's been sucking since the eighties. All with that screaming shit. All he does is scream. What's that fucking in the after uh, Scarface? Yeah, he had a good head. So he had heat. He had uh, Carlito's way. But he screams on that one too. The one where he's a football coach. <gasps> yeah, come on. You got a spike yeah, those. Huh? No. Nah, Hezbollah can play stacks. Who's going to play stacks? <laughs> Hezbollah. <laughs> Hezbollah, yeah. I heard he got arrested. He, yeah, did he really? Yeah, I think he was doing like uh, donuts in the middle of the street in Russia, and that's a big no no. <laughs> 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 they arrested his little ass. He was walking his cat in a baby carriage, I seen. That was funny as shit. <laughs> yeah, that kid makes me laugh, man. He's funny. BX really, his movies are good. Oh, what? Carlitos Way was good, yes, he was. And Donnie Brasco as well. Oh yeah, Donnie Brasco. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. He plays a good lefty. Leonardo DiCaprio is a good actor. Supposedly, his new Western is his best performance. Yeah, Leo. Yeah, Leo is good. Yeah. Austin Ad Adam Sandler for stacks. I don't know. Could I see that? Hey, man. I don't know. Who's that asshole? There's an asshole. Uh, he has a stupid name. He was in that movie. Uh, Alpha Dog. Oh, Emil Hirsch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could he could be Stax. He's a good actor. <laughs> Put some face tattoos on him. Yeah. And Louis Anderson died. Uh, oh, he did. Bear Pushy told him. Bear Pushy. Bear Pushy. Uh, FBS calls him Bear Pussy. <laughs> He's got Bear Pussy on the brain. Fucking <laughs> oh. Eddie Lee Strasberg. Keep shit. I hope Lee doesn't see that because he'd be like fucking. He'd be flattered. 
Yeah, there's no holding back for that one. <laughs> that guy had his own acting school. Told yeah, a, yes, told he a lot did. Of great actors, yeah. We were stronger than U.S. Steel. <laughs> he had one of my favorite lines in that fucking movie. He's like, uh, when he was talking about Bugsy Siegel. Yeah. That's the best fucking line in the whole movie. What is he saying? That it was personal and business, whatever? Yeah, he's like, I loved him and I trusted him. Someone put a bullet through his eye. No one knows who gave the order. When I heard it, I wasn't mad. I knew Mo. I knew he said a lot of stupid things. He was high strung. So I let it go. And I said to myself, this is the business we've chosen. I didn't ask who gave the order because they had nothing to do with business. That five million in your room. I'm going to take yeah. a nap. I'm yeah. Wait. It's on the table. I know I have a partner. If it's not, then I know I don't. I mean, who, you can't beat that. You can't fucking beat that. Man, play, I remember Rod plays a good part. The thing, was it, so what's, is it retribution for uh, the, the Mo Green being killed, or is it just money? Or the, the, what's, what it usually is all about. What, why does he want to make a move on the Michael? Uh, yeah, it was, um, it was some sort of deal. Like, they were going to take over the whole fucking commission. With the no, I get coverage. that. So it was, it had nothing to do with fucking Bugsy Siegel then. I mean, I'm sure that was part of it. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't hurt. I mean, a little bit of revenge, yeah. But mostly well, it, it's money. Yeah, it's probably money. They just wanted Michael out of there. They wanted no, to I, I, I understood what, the, what they were trying to get to, but what more yeah. would you... They left it up for option, you know? I think it's more about the money. I don't think he... I mean, yeah. He's more about the money. Hey, I'm going to go with that. But, uh... Yeah, good movie, man. Lance said it had to do a lot with Mo Green. Uh, that was part of it. I mean, that's probably like why. I mean, money's part of it too, but I'm sure like the murder was like, all right, let's fuck them over now when we get the Well, chance. let's take their money. They killed Mo Green anyway. Yeah, fuck. yeah, exactly. Bronx Bomber De Stefano. That's a name I haven't seen in a while. Gunsmoke the Don, FBS. Shout out to you guys and the crew. Richie Step, Bronx Bomber, Valentine Villa Crew for life, to 209th Street, Hull Avenue, heading to a Bronx block. Respect, Gunsmoke to Don. Respect to you, brother. Shout out to the Bronx. It's amazing how fucking Yankees have such a fan base, man. You go to any. I watched the Yankees play in like four different cities. Yeah. And in some of these cities, it seems like there's more Yankee fans than freaking <laughs> um, whatever team they're playing, especially yeah. in Seattle. That's funny. <clears throat> well, they're the greatest team in baseball. 27 uh, World Series, at least. I went to Cincinnati, and I seen them play just, what, last weekend? And, um... Yeah, yeah and, they, and they fucking... They, and you heard that stupid chant that let's go Yankees with the three claps? Uh-huh. Throughout the whole fucking stadium. And this is the Cincinnati Reds, okay? Shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is the Cincinnati. They're the oldest team in uh, baseball. Uh, them in Pittsburgh. But really? yet, uh, huh? I didn't know that. Yeah, they played in the first World Series. I'm going to shove the White Sox up somebody's ass. Pete Rose was at the game, too. Pete Rose. God damn it. You're talking baseball talk now. Uh, yeah. You don't know who like Pete Rose is? I've heard the name. But I'm thinking about a guy on ESPN with a fucking bow tie. I don't think I'm thinking about the same guy. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm a Mets fan. And I'm pulling my hair out. Ranger fan. Wow, that's a very that's a very weird uh, combination. That Ranger Mets. He's uh, you know, I don't know. It's New York. Anthony Breeze. Hey yo, what up? Um, I like Marlin. Marlon Brando in number one. If a bullet hits my son or he hangs himself in his cell or gets struck by a bolt of lightning, then I'm going to be looking to blame some men in this room. Look how they massacred my boy. Look what the mess they did to my boy. Look at the hand job they gave him. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. If he had an easy, easy pass, that shit wouldn't have happened. 
He's yeah, exactly. He's looking for fucking change. Looking for change. Asshole. That was a good setup. Even the yeah. fucking Cobra ah. guy was in on it. He was uh, nominated for a uh, best supporting actor in that role. James Gunn. Oh yeah. <clears throat> that, stu- that stupid fucking uh, Marlon Brando. He won uh, an Oscar one year, and he well, sent he he- and he sent uh, Tony Pizza's sister up. <laughs> yeah, basically, might as well have the fake Indian chief over there. Is he native? Is it Tony uh, native? He looks like. Hey, give him one of those head. Ge- he looks <laughs> yeah. like. The- he looks like the Indian that used to cry when you pollute. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot what they called that guy. Yeah. But uh um, can't be one. What's up, baby? Yeah, put a few yard bird feathers in his head. Yeah, you know, yeah. Make him cry with a cup. That should be his new gig. Yeah, just tell him he's not getting any more cash apps. He'll start crying. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh yeah, I can see it. They took my land, all of them. The Vado eaters. He gave up the mob to become a fucking chief in some Indian reservation. Yeah, my great 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 fit grandfather started Thanksgiving. They taught him how to use turkey basters. Now we got these turkey baster babies running around. Turkey you come here? Yo, the shit he comes up with, man. Turkey baster babies. That's what he's calling people in his chat. Sick yeah. fuck. Miss Can't Be Wrong wants to say hello to you, Frank. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. All right, I dropped the link. Oh, she said I got to find my phone. I got you. Forget sometimes people go on the computer. Have a good day, Elsa. Have a good weekend. Enjoy the holiday. Elsa? Elsa for you. How's it spell? How you spell it? E-L-S-A. Like a lion. Like the lion, Elsa. That's that's a lion. I was wondering a fucking cross. See, I did a lot of crossword puzzles when I was in the can, and that, those are one of those four letter um, name of a female lion. It was Elsa or something oh. like that. Simba, yeah. Big red machine, Joey Root. Yeah, if you if you go there, they have a lot of a lot of um, like museum in the museum. You got a lot a lot of uh, mentions of that seventy five, seventy six red steam. Shit. Oh, somebody, somebody else sent me a cash app. Oh, Elsa, thank you so much. She sent me $10. She says, oh, no, what if pizza's chain broke? <laughs> what? Thank you, Carmine. Thank you. Uh, Ranger fan, yeah, I mean, I get that also. I, I'm not from Long Island, but I became an Islander fan because uh, I, I don't know. I, they were on WHC. Remember WHC was a cable of network well back home theater and they uh covered the games and that's when the islanders were really hot they won four stanley cups four out of five actually so i was a big islander fan i went to an island the game once a long time ago it was cool elsa lives in disneyland thank you elsa she sent me 10 bucks what if pizza's chain broke and he'd be upset it would cost a lot of money to get it fixed. That's a forty dollar necklace right there. Disneyland. That's in Anaheim, if I'm correct. In California. <clears throat> well, Bossy Trottier. Trottier. Oh, Bossy and Trot. Yeah, that they were the Islanders. Bossy and Trottier. Brian Trottier. They still live in Long Island, a lot of these guys who played on that 80s team. What about Mark Messier? He was um he was a, and originally he was an Edmonton Oiler. Then um he, he's he's best known for the Rangers Stanley Cup, you know? Yeah, 90 foul. Yeah. Miss. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Good morning, you little ray of sunshine. Hello, hello. On? How are you? Frank. Hey, what's going Ranger on, fan, right. Christopher Capello? What's up? <laughs> He's a Ranger fan. Oh, Ranger fan, yeah. He said, I remember that WHC and home box. Yeah. She, yeah. People, uh, Joe Root, Billy Smith, the goalie. Yep. So what's good this morning? Nothing. Oh, man. same old, same old, just a little under the weather. 
I uh, change of weather has messed me up a little bit. But um, feeling better today. I, I I was like, thank God it ain't that freaking cold. But I got that shit a year and a half ago. Yeah. Put me out for about a month. Yeah, over here it's been hot and cold every day too. Some days it's hot, some days it's cold. Right oh, now, yeah, it's you perfect. gotta be careful with that. Yeah. <clears throat> what the hell, Miss? Miss can't be wrong. What the hell are you doing over there? She's in the UFO. Yeah. <laughs> well, beat me up, Scotty. Elsa oh, says yes, I tried to block go. Angry Sidge. Uh, here's, he's already blocked. That's why you can't block him. Who? Angry Sidge. Sig. He said he wanted to be blocked again. Yeah, so he's blocked already. That's like those guys in jail. They didn't like the population sometimes and they just didn't okay, like cool. They would come down from the hole after 30 days. They would hit somebody real, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> back in. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. we hear you now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hell? just saw somebody telling me to go back out and come back in, and I'm like, "Am I messing up?" Or uh, you sound fine now. Before it was a little scratchy. Oh, okay. I was wondering. You know, maybe I shouldn't chat. That makes me a little nervous sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to. Oh, what happened? We keep losing her. Oh, all right. She's got that uh, down south in there. <laughs> <laughs> Cricket. Yeah. Jitterbug. Um, <coughs> pizza just went live. All right. So that means, yeah. I'm not going to do a show ever again, people. Less than 24 hours later, he's back live, you see? I told you, people. Can't resist. Somebody lost a few bets out there. Yeah. All right, Gunsmoke. I'm going to take off. The guys were out working on my service today, and that might be why I'm breaking up. Okay. Okay. Nice talk. Nice see you, Mr. Campbell. You, you enjoy All your right. weekend. Yep, yep. Thank you, miss. Yeah. Nice woman. Yeah, sweet woman. Yeah. <clears throat> Loyal too. Yeah. Carmine Carmine sent me four ninety nine. Beautiful thing. He says pizza was offered a role on Sesame Street as Oscar. <laughs> I, I tried to make him Oscar the Grouch like a few days ago, actually. I was gonna have him in a trash can, but I, I couldn't make it work. I couldn't make it work. I, I gotta try harder. Maybe next week. But yeah, I definitely thought about that. And thank you, Carmine. Thank you for the four ninety nine. That's how we survived the ghetto here. <laughs> Oh, Maybe Lance I should start crying. On. Lance wants to come on? All right. Yeah. Maybe I should start crying, you know? I'm going to start complaining about cash apps and uh, secret <clears throat> chats. See if that works. Because I think That's if I don't say nothing, people <clears throat> forget that uh, I have to survive the ghetto too, you know? What are you going to say, Frank? Oh, no. Is pizza uh, blocked over here? Not anymore. I unblocked everybody. This is the unblocking oh. show. Every troll, every scumbag. Hey, you ain't kidding. You ain't kidding, are you? <laughs> Tommy Lasorda. How the fuck do you not know Tommy Lasorda? Tommy Lasagna. Tommy Lasagna. Dude. Uh, if pizza wasn't such a prick, I'd have him come on and curse me out. That'd be fun. You could give him a free curse out there. Go ahead, invite him. All right, I'll drop the link for him, but he's doing his show now. He's not going to come on. He'll come on. He he's a third pick that way. Nah, he's mad with me because uh, there's a fucking certain tape going around that uh, he doesn't like. Oh, I got Lance here. What's up, Yo, fellas? Lance? What's up, bro? Good to Hello, see. Hello, Lance. How you not know who Tommy Lasorda is in the ghetto, bro? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? How you feeling this morning? Doing good. Hey, did you make it to the ball game in Pittsburgh, Frank? Oh, um, I no, I didn't make it to Pittsburgh. I mean, because it was raining. I said, let's not chance it. So we drove down to Cincinnati that night for the next day. Jeez. But it's only four hours away, you know. You like Cincy? Lance, do you like Cincy? He's on a delay, I think. No, um, I don't like Cincy. No. No. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh. I, I flew out of Pittsburgh. 
Shit. You know, you're driving to that airport in Pittsburgh, right? And it looks like there's no planes around. There's no nothing. You got to go like down a hill. And then you see the airport. You're like, are you sure we're in the right fucking place? <laughs> oh, we lost Lance. But we, we we found out that he doesn't like Cincinnati. Yeah. There you go. No, I told you Pittsburgh. Yeah, I told you Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> what part of Pittsburgh you don't understand, motherfucker? Yeah. Yeah, that guy, uh, Mini Me, will play code. Yeah, you're right. Mini uh, Me. <laughs> Mini Me. Uh, Frankie Rizzo in the house. Salute. Chris Capello says, Gunsmoke, what do you think of you, Frank, Lee, Proctor on a panel? Four horsemen incarnate. Uh, yeah, I could do that, I guess. Yeah, why not? Did Judge Homer Frank. The judge he, did. he did. He did. He did. He um uh, on Friday night he did. Actually, oh, in the first inning. Part. Did he get a homer? Rizzo did really good. Anthony Frankie Rizzo. Did. Oh, I thought you meant Frankie Rizzo. Frankie Rizzo did get to his cousin. Yeah, his cousin. He hit two home runs. One the day before. He hit a bomb on Friday. She yeah. <clears throat> they actually swept Cincinnati. Hey guys, somebody go tell Pizza I just dropped a link for him. Let him come you know on. The Cincinnati house. mass, the mascot. They have the mat. It looks just like the fucking mascot from the Mets, Mister Met. Uh huh. And he has a chick too. That's like uh, Mister Met's Guma. Didn't they get rid of Mister Met though? He wasn't woke. They nah, got rid of he did something. He did something fucking, uh, I think he spit on a fan or something. They use <laughs> different ones. Yeah. Now they got a few woke ma mascots now for some teams. Gotta be woke. Some of these mascots are funny. They're pretty talented, too. Yeah. Who's the one, the one from the Phoenix Suns who dunks, goes on a trampoline, does flips, and then dunks? Bro, those guys get paid like 300 grand a year. Do they? Yeah, they get paid real good. Yeah, pretty. Well, I mean, fuck it. If those players are making that money, why shouldn't they get three on? Yeah, why not? There's enough money for everybody. Those perks. Yep, yep, yep. They were showing Judge looking at the bench for signals. They caught somebody doing some fucking shit. I forgot what it was. Somebody got in trouble. <laughs> um, That's been part of the game forever. But now that the camera aspect of that, you know, it's like uh, stealing signs. Yeah. But they've been doing that shit forever. Falcon he says, Gun, did you put everyone on breakout from the Gambino Maximum? Yes, I did. The, the jails are open. The criminals are running wild. So, Yeah, Miss Can't Be Wrong. Justin Verlander, Max, uh, Max Great Pitches. Schreiser. How do you say that name? Everyone always fuck it up. Rat Ratweiser? Schratweiser. Oh, that's what he did. Wait, he didn't spit on me. He gave him the middle finger. Oh. <laughs> Yardbird. Yardbird running wild says he's still abusing his subs and just and a few just sent money. Oh, they don't want him to leave. I can't believe that, man. What's this world coming to? You got my money? You got my fucking money? No, it's he like had some of the Simpson there. Huh? It's like the soup Nazi. They keep coming back for the abuse. Basically. He's in there. Like, don't leave us, Tony. Yeah, no soup for you. Yeah, fuck you guys. This show's over. You don't want to pay? You don't want to pay? Yeah, he was hey, crying hey. yesterday. You got to huh? put that clip up, the one where he says he was a gangster. <laughs> and God, he was your skipper. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that? Uh, That's a good one. Um, um, the best is when Angel fucking basically crucifies him. What does she he say? Know, she, what she said, he didn't know me or my brother. I don't even oh, know who father. he is. Yeah. Oh, my father. He didn't know my fucking father. Well, she goes, my brother's older than him. I said, I've been telling people that. Can I find it? Where the fuck is it? What's oh, got to go through that fucking crazy brain of his, though, man? You know, <laughs> in, in all, in all, 
in all fairness, um, you know, there's something wrong with him. Yeah, I can see it in his eyes when he's like on a rant. He actually believes it. The FBI is coming. Uh, yeah, they're all going to jail. There's yeah. this big Rico indictment over a phone call to his mother. And, uh, it's, and he's sitting it, up there it, telling straight lies, but he's saying it with a straight face. And I'm looking at him in his eyes, and I'm like, yo, this guy believes right, he, he he saying something. Does he really believe this, or is he lying and thinks people are going to believe it? You, you just... You know, I, I think he makes up the lie, but then he forgets that it's a lie, and he actually starts to believe it. That's how crazy he is. You know why he gets a lot of free passages? Because at the end of the day, when a man has to bring himself to begging on a corner or something like that, you know he's not all there. Yeah, he can't be. And people yeah. understand that. Yeah, most people. Well... I mean, if you're gonna take as you're gonna take them serious. Now, I, I'm gonna I'm giving the benefit of the doubt to the people who give him money. Are they giving him money because they feel bad for him? Are they giving him money because they really think he's something special. You know that he's got this both. talent. He does got. He is funny. I'm, I'm giving him. He that. is funny. Yeah, he comes up with some crazy shit that I would have never thought of. You know. You, you know, know, if he stays away from like the 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 family shit and the stuff that that. On a one-on-one -on -one basis, if these guys are going after each other, that's fine. You know, yeah. we, we talked about this, right? Yeah. But when you're going to go attack people's uh, families, say fucking vulgar shit, sexuality and all that, you know, he said some stuff that's pretty fucked up. But at the end of the day, I hate to say this, do we expect that from him? Yeah. Because he is not, he's not all there, you know? Yeah. I mean, he said stuff about, um, I don't even want to bring it up. You remember back in the day. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. No need to right. rehash it. Hmm? No need to rehash. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But Jay Fitz is, I but he is funny, man. I'll give him that. No, he is funny. Yeah, that's part of his charm. Don't get me wrong. Would I love to be in front of him sometimes? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he definitely uh, deserves a few things, but. Hit him over to having a side of the face with a fucking Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I got yawned, bud. Let me know who I got to go recapture and return to custody. Oh, there's going to be a few of them. Uh, where's my speaker? Hold on. I'll see. tell you what, but for the most part, most of, the, most of you guys, you guys are funny. You're really fun, entertaining, too. Yeah. Well, I do my best. It's hit and miss with me, but he's always funny. Yeah, you're one of my favorites when it comes to that. Hold on. Here we go. Let's see if we got something. Howie says hello, by the way. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. yeah, he's been missing in action. I hope he's doing good. Yeah, nah, he's just doing his own thing. I, I, he's got some stuff going, and that's what he's doing, and that's good. Yeah. All right, well, good for him, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Let's see. Uh... Another scam? No. No. <laughs> and Kevin hits my friend for eight nine hundred dollars because of Johnny Mac. The fuck. And B hit my friend for eight hundred dollars for a computer. Nah. I don't know. I thought this was the one. This is not the clip. I will, Joe. Hey, Ruth. This ain't a game. I didn't come on here to play games. I came on here to fucking tell a story. <laughs> Can't tell my story. Every time I say something, they fucking twist it. You won't let me tell my story. I'm a big bad man, but somebody's stopping me from telling my story. They got no content for themselves. That's true. They got no stories for themselves. I can make up stories. FPS can't grab anybody and say, hey, this guy I grew up with. Hey, look. look. Neither can you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's well, you he grow did up? break dance. Yeah, he did. Long time ago. He was spinning on his fucking head. That, that explains a lot. Maybe he got some brain damage. Spinning on his head I in the middle of Times Square. Head is the reason why he's got brain damage. <laughs> I'm trying to give him excuses, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Bambi. I heard what he said about you. He said a few things about a few other people, too. He's a little prick. 
Take it in stride. Take it as a badge of honor. His eyes are about to turn turquoise. Yeah. What are you going to say? I I was listening to him the other day. I was saying to myself, this guy's probably good at stand up. But to be a stand up is hard. You know, when you go up on stage and you got the nerves and all that, will he remember all that? He's funny because. You know, he has breaks and everything, but imagine him going on, on stage with his funny stuff. Yeah. No, he could really pull a crowd, I think. He'd Turkey bastards and all that shit he comes up with. He should just go on there and talk about the woke. <laughs> yeah. just complain about the woke for an hour. Yeah. Turkey based the babies, the Vado eaters, you know, the scourge <laughs> of the earth. DJ Kaz in the house. Whatever happened to that guy you had on one time, the frog? Oh, eh, eh. Yeah, the frog. Eh, eh. <laughs> the frog. The frog. That's his buddy. Uh, somebody just told me uh, Pizza keeps saying that DJ Kaz paid Sammy $250 to ask a question. <laughs> Who? <laughs> uh, DJ Kaz. Right. He, he, said asked, he, he asked Sammy a question the other day. I think he sent them like five, ten bucks. Right. But, but Tony's going around saying, yeah, you sent him $250 to ask him a question about me. Keep asking him. Sammy loves it. Let Sammy know I'm making him money. He's a fucking asshole. Oh, somebody sent me something here. Oh, well, let's see. All you fake motherfuckers. <laughs> you want to go after the innocent people because you can't take the real man. You can't beat the real man. All right? <clears throat> I'm going off of this fucking thing because I'm tired of fucking fighting with the Davado eating scumbags like you. <laughs> All right? You want it, you know, you got 20 million fucking channels out there killing my cash out. Oh, we did support. it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right? Obvious guys that call themselves Team Pizza don't got bulls anymore to come into my chat and give money. So they're disgusted you know with you. That's I why. don't give a fuck. Everybody let me down. <laughs> God damn. That's his show now, just complaining to his subscribers, his viewers. He's something else. <sighs> Look, it's been slow lately for some people, but hey, another cash app. Ten dollars for Team Gunsmoke. Thank you, Bambi. Thank you for the ten. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I didn't even have to cry for it. That makes me feel good. I get to keep a little bit of self respect. We 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 all <laughs> yeah. There's war again with the Wamberlands. We woo we woo we Wamberland. woo. Every time he says that, I I, I could hear the, the sound in my head. Holy, he's flipping. He's oh, I gotta fuck. You can't come on. Can you, can you get him on? He he's on a rant right now. I don't know. I, yo guys, somebody go in there and tell him uh, to come on the show. He probably won't, but the link is there. And Joey Frakes in the house. Thank you, Joey Frakes. Salute. Support the real ones. Thank you, Joey Frakes. Let's get him on here. Yeah. Somebody tell who do you him, think smart? Who do you think smarter? Him or BK? Uh, Tony Pizza's smarter. Yeah, by a lot. Yeah. You know, one thing about Tony hey, Pizza. Jay. Tony huh? Pizza. Oh, hold on. I got Bambi here. Bambi. Hey, what up, fellas? Hey, good How morning. You, I'm good. You know, I had to give you some money because, you know, we're looking at 25 years. I know. So, I need uh You know, we need that for our legal defense. And commissary or shit, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, he's out of his mind. I don't even know what... I don't know who's more crazy, him or his people. Uh, You, you know what? It's, <laughs> his people. His people are more crazy. Mean, they call him, they, he calls them the worst things possible. Like, if you started calling me everything but, like, a white person, I'd be like, I'm out. Screw you. Nope. Yeah. But they just, they, they ah, it's, it's insanity. <laughs> it's insanity. It's but now I just wanted sure. to say hi. And, you know, like I said, we need that for our legal defense. And I got your back. So, Thank and, and everybody so else in here, you know, a lot of good chatters, a lot of good people. So, yeah. I got you. Thank Peace you out. So All right, Bambi. Thanks for hey, stopping baby. by. And thank you for the support, Bambi. What a sweetheart. See, that's nice. Yeah, that yeah, nice. definitely. Real nice. No, that's Short nice. And sweet, too. Uh, somebody Are you trying to tell me, me to get the fuck off? 
No, no, you're gonna stay right where the hell you are. I need you, goddamn it. I'm using you right now for content. Uh, oh. I think somebody just sent me a message. I think it's basically over for pizza. He will pop his head up with rage bullshit, but his channel is done. His fans are upset, and he is telling his them to f off. Upset. He will be living off donations from a few clowns. Yeah, well, he pissed off his own people, but he's blaming us. He's blaming other people for taking his uh, donors away. No, you did that, motherfucker. You're the one cursing them out and, and, and all this other shit and calling them names. Mark Shoemaker, the guy gave you thousands of dollars. He's living out of a fucking car. He's giving you his hard-earned money. And what do you do? You call him a Devada Weeder and a whole bunch of other crazy names I'm not going to repeat. But that's what that's what that's what you do to people time and time and time again. You're a little prick. Come on here. I'll drop the link again. Get on here, man. I want you to curse me out. Come on, it'll be easy for you. You can out talk me. Come on. Come on, you little prick. Who was that? I'm talking about pizza. Oh, come well. on here, curse me out, talk over me. You know. He comes up with some witty shit. I'm feeling a monumental show today if he comes on. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Pizza, want, pizza. <laughs> come on, pizza. We're going to save your show. That's another thing. I think he feels like he's not included in uh, Mob Tube, you know, which he's not. But Are you feeling bad for him? Uh, no, I mean, uh, come on. No, no. He's a piece of shit. No, I don't feel bad for him. I just, uh, part of me wishes he wasn't a scumbag because he is funny. And he is an old man. At the same time, he's a vile, ranted, rotten, miserable son of a bitch who's done horrible <laughs> things to people in here. That you it's can't like that forget. uncle that everybody hates when he's around until he leaves. Yeah, and then you miss him. <laughs> yeah, for about two minutes. Yeah. Antonino, five dollars. Here's the money. I'm not sending pizza. Thank you. <coughs> Look, any dollars you're not sending pizza, please send them my way. Thank you, Antonino. This is how we survive the ghetto here. All right. I can't complain. I'm doing okay. I'm getting by. This is this isn't the big show I thought it would be. I thought people would be happy to get unblocked, but I guess they don't give a shit. They probably come on the other names anyway. I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> Anthony Breeze. Who? Anthony Breeze is in the house. Who? Yeah, that's, that's only like a fucking owl. I think I'm getting... <laughs> I think it's all my head fucking clogged up. I'm fucking feeling sick. Falcon Eddie says pizza is not fucking funny. Yeah, I can see what I can see where some people don't find them funny. I agree with that. Yeah, no, I agree too. Actually, there's there's been times when uh, people said he's funny. I'm like, yo, he's not fucking funny, man. The shit he does, it makes it not funny. Well, Gunsmoke, it's like Lee, you know, a lot of people fucking, you know, not a lot, but some people were like, hey, why do you fuck with that guy? I said, because I don't really take him seriously. It's okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, people got on me for that because of the interview shit. I said, at the end of the day, he, he's the lesser of the evils, we'll put it that way. And he says he's going to go do good now. Let's see. Yeah, we'll see. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's turned over a new he, he, he wants to focus on his show, and uh, that's a good thing, I guess. Well, he's been trying to stay out of the drama for a few months now, for a while. So yeah, I, right. guess he's, I guess he's really trying to do uh, the right thing. I don't know. He's not up to some bad stuff no more. He won't come on your show, Gunsmoke. What a fucking <laughs> asshole. There were times that he used to beg to be on the show. Well, not beg, but he would always pop up backstage, and I'd be like, nah, bro, I can't have you on, man. Tell him we'll buy him one of those racing car beds. Come on, tell him we'll get him some cash apps. Racing car beds. <laughs> Can you picture him yeah. in one of those? Yeah, we're going to get him uh, one of those racing beds from the Cars with, movie. With, with his name on it. Yeah. Hey, what well, do you know? Huh? It's got my name on it. Yeah, custom made. With yeah. a fucking uh, garbage can uh, fucking decal on it. Let me see if I'm still blocked here. I'm going to type in the chat, hey, you Devado eater. <laughs> Grab my link. <laughs> grab my link. And not only that, grab this too. <laughs> and let's entertain the people. Let's see. Am I blocked? 
Yeah, I'm blocked. He can't see the message. God damn you, Tony Pizza. Today was your day. He blocked me the other day because he, he, I was pissing him off. I'm like, uh, so you did a 302 on us? He's like, there's no 302. Because he was talking about going to the FBI and the cops. <laughs> there's no 302. He's like, there's no 302, Gunsmoke. He's like, you know what? And then he blocked me. So, no, he didn't get my message. He's got 124 people in there. These people, you know, they love him. I don't know what the fuck he's complaining about. <laughs> How many people he got on? He's got 125 people in there. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. I got fucking 60 in here, and I'm still losing them by the fucking second. Yeah. This scumbag Jomo, he came in throwing money, hoping that he can get the ball. He's still complaining about his donors, calling them scumbag Chomos. You believe it? Hey, DJ Cat, what's up, brother? Good morning, Chad. He is flipping. Yeah, I'm going to go watch the replay. Uh, oh, I got it. That's team. gold. Yeah, that's gold right there. I got to watch that. I've been watching him a lot lately, uh, catching up on shit that I missed. Yo, he's fucking funny, man. Even the shit he he's says about me. So, he's probably screaming so loud in that fucking that neighborhood. People are passing by like, what the fuck's going on in there? I thought about that, too. When he used to be in his tent <laughs> talking shit, I'm like, yo, what if somebody's walking by here in this fucking nut? Yeah. Uh, Bambi says my fake went at Marky last night while I was in bed. Huh? NCO seven. It's glorious to see Pizza telling his subs this is his job as he curses them out, and then and they reply, "If this is his job, they just fired him." Oh, you're fired. How are you gonna fire me? I'm self-employed. <laughs> He's calling everybody names and chomos. If you don't donate to him anymore, you're a chomo automatically. Forget it. That's a given. Uh, DJ Cass said, he said I paid 250 to ask Shammy questions. It was $10. Well, right now to him, $10 is worth 250 You know, because he's not getting nothing. He's upset. He's upset. What a crybaby. And then he's going to tell you in the next breath how much of a big man he is. You know, he's better than everybody else. Yeah, well, you see the insanity there. He, he, he's asking for money, and then two minutes later, he's telling you how big of a gangster he was. Yeah. Hold on. Why don't you get a job instead of fucking chasing chickens around the yard? <laughs> <laughs> That's just me tuning in randomly. You could get a nice quip out of him. Oh, God. You got yard bird. Why don't you get a job? Clean up yard bird poop. Shammy and Sharma. Shammy and Sharma abandoned me. Pizza just yeah. claims he's suing YouTube. Oh, now he's going to take it out on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of money. On the, platform. Yeah. the best was when he was coming out with that. Well, he came out as he used to be around... Sammy's Club, when they first started coming around. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was talking about his Netflix series, like it was some kind of mob fucking thing. And yeah, he did, yeah. Out, it was about him being a bum on a fucking corner. He said, wait till the Netflix special comes out. You're all going to feel stupid. Yeah, and like he was going to tell yeah. my story. <laughs> right, right, right. And then the, the story. Is Tony from Brooklyn yeah. was known, to, was suspected in 32 murders, you know? Milk Crate Tony. He just said Milk Crate Milk Tony. Crate. Hey, give us some ideas, people out there. What, what, what would be a good nickname for him? Mob nickname. Egg Foo Young Tony, because he always sip it on that fucking Egg Foo Young with, hanging out of his mouth. Squeegee Steve. Squeegee Steve. Squeegee Steve. Squeegee Steve. <laughs> Squeegee Steve. Squeegee Oh, Anthony Nino says, this is Pizza's official last show again. He's suing YouTube. Well, yeah, of course. Check is in the mail. Oh, Miss Can't Be Wrong says uh, pizza's people are telling them to get a job. Get a J-O-B. Oh, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> Whoa. You don't want to hear that. What do you mean to get a job? And then DJ Kaz said, uh, what did he say? He said something funny. He said him and poor Leon have to walk the earth now. Right, like <laughs> Kane and Kung Fu. Bunch of nomads. He's Moses walking the desert for four years. 
fucking asshole. Pizza just claimed he's... Oh, okay, I read that. This is hilarious. Hold on. You, you, what you do all day is fucking st- sit in the laundry room, swivel it in your little swivel chair, talking shit like you got some kind of shit on people. Small I'll tell you what, Pizza, that guy gets you, he's going to fuck you up. Who, me? Nah. No, nah, no, nah, the guy he's talking about. Uh, he saw our Tony. Oh. People's families, you stalk people's kids, you stalk oh, people's he is, fucking yeah. lives because you're a jealous, broke joke, broke woke joke. You're a broke woke joke that wants to be a tranny. This is a motherfucker <laughs> who talks about fucking bagging and he's calling other people broke. He's the wokest motherfucker on here. God damn. I don't know if I could call him broke because he's got savings. He's just a cheap motherfucker. He, you know. That's what FBS thinks. He's got money saved. I don't think so. I think so. He's got a few grand at least. He made too much money on here to fucking not have any. Unless he's buying what? crack. Crack will fucking eat into your profits real quick. Um, I don't know, man. You don't you think he's broke as a joke? He's begging his ass off. Yeah, I guess these past three days have been really brutal for him. I mean, I've been there before. Sometimes the support just dries up. It's not for lack of entertainment. He's definitely entertaining them. I'm entertained. No, he, yeah, I am too. He, he, he is funny. Peach is a crackhead. He's not saving. Nah, yeah, he's not saving. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, he's not saving. Mm. I don't know. You know, he's an idiot then, because that fucking asshole made like seventy-five grand last year at least. Who hit? What the fuck? I mean, you know how you know how fast money goes. I guess he's what spending how much money? You know how much he spends on rent if he's really living in all. Let's say if he lives in a hotel, right? Half yeah. half a month. Let's say one thirty a night. Or maybe he's getting cheap motels, like 80 bucks a night. God damn it. You lost service again, god damn it. Hey, you got all these fucking people afraid of you, so they all kiss your ass. Because if they stop watching you, you'll attack their families. He's right about that. These people are afraid of that fucking clown for some reason. They think he's really a hacker. He's got money. These people don't know that he's a fucking fraud down there. Tony Pete's is right about that. All right. All right. I got every right to be mad. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm seeing a number like that for the whole week. Bro, oh, for the whole week. Okay. He just showed $70, $73 in his uh, cash app. And he's saying he's mad about that because that's for the whole week. Which that's more than I got today. But if he's talking about the whole week, then uh, I can understand. But uh, no bitch to me. Don't go in there crying about it. Just do your shows and pray for a miracle. That's all. That's the best you can do. Asking for it doesn't get you anywhere. These people get upset. Oh, I lost Frank. He's the mad rapper now. He sounds like it. We all got HIV. I guess so. I forgot to take my Divido this morning. I got a headache. Mike John says he's got to pay utilities, electric, etc. At the apartment. Dog food, food for himself. He ain't got money. 75 grand in a year at least, okay? I don't know. Some people live off of 35,000 in a year, and that's rent, food. Every time he got a hotel, it was comped, you know? Somebody sent him money for that hotel that day, so it's not like he had to dip into his savings. I mean, I don't know. I can't see him fucking blowing through that money like that. Yo, yo. Unless he's smoking crack. Yeah, he's doing drugs, too. Yeah. Drinking that tranny beer, the Bud Light. (laughs) Yeah, I guess. Drinking on that tranny beer, boy. Wee woo yeah. wee woo. He yeah, ain't got a nism. He ain't got a nism. I love you too, Jesse. 
Yeah, miss. Please donate if you can. It's much appreciated. Yes, it is. Thank you, miss. Pizza's not smart enough to save. It took... Pizza's not smart enough to save it. Look at just what we see. That's true. Yo, Kaz. <laughs> Yo, this shit is funny, bro. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kaz? What's up, Frank? This shit is... Bro, it's you like funny. To hear him cry, what's, he right? what's he doing? He's he, crying. He, Bro, he's just he took it. I, I'm taking I took all my all my wrenches away. Nobody deserves them. Jesus <laughs> Christ. He took everybody's wrenches away. Bro, he gave a speech about he went right to Leon. Well, if you want to see me and Leon walk the earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a savage nomad. <laughs> Bro, I'm sick. This is making me fucking. <laughs> it's making you stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, how's everything, Frankie? Good, good. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. What are you talking about? This fucking guy. He's just a funny bastard. Bro, it's just like Gunsmoke said. It's it's YouTube gold. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. He's like he's like that fucking guy who goes home. Uh, that bad gambler, drunk, goes home, fucking starts uh. Didn't have his way and just starts picking pick on his family for no reason. Yeah, bro. This is he goes, and this is really the last time you'll yeah, ever see me. Sure. I'm yeah. leaving. Don't let me leave. Who would Don't he let talk me to? Leave. I'm walking my foot's out the door. Somebody better I'm, stop me. I'm gonna be on the other side of this door in two minutes. You you count. Stop I'm me? counting one. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop me. Bro, I don't know how. Anybody gives some money, and then I love he comes on and he makes his own story. That 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 DJ lawn jockey, you know, the gay bearded guy, he gave two hundred and fifty dollars to Sammy. He paid a quarter of my debt to Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard him say that. He's like, yeah, you paid my debt. Yeah. yeah. What well, we need to do? We need to follow this guy around. I mean, like, if we ever get ten days to put together on a vacation. Oh my god. It's just to fuck and follow him around and fucking laugh. It would be better than a jackass movie. Oh yeah, forget <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> it would be what's that movie they had they put together? Bad grandpa? Oh he definitely. That was a good movie. <laughs> That's the movie about pizza, bro. To follow him around. Well he thinks he got he got the feds outside his uh he got the cops because of us woke jokes. They sit in front of my house all the time because they know that I was labeled the street enforcer. Yeah, he's got to be schizophrenic for sure. No, he didn't take his Devado this morning. His no, daily dose of Devado. That's probably when he's coming down from the crack binge. Yeah. You got to take lithium. <laughs> Bro, I work in a hospital emergency room. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I see these guys all the time. He's 100% schizophrenic. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He has a bipolar disorder, and he's definitely schizophrenic. Yeah, yeah. Those, those, those are those guys that you see in jail where they tell them to open their mouth and fucking put about eight pills in there. Yeah, yeah. It's Seroquel. And, they, <laughs> they, and then they're dribbling all over the fucking place. We should, he, said, he calls us Nevada eating. We should go on there and say, hey, listen, you Seroquel eating. <laughs> <laughs> He'll look it up. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah. I, had a, I had a friend of mine in a can. He couldn't do fucking jail time. He was a tough kid too. He just so they had a fucking like he couldn't be. It was like uh, confined. You know what I mean? Right. And real tough guy too. Believe it or not, everybody was surprised. Like, what the fuck is wrong? He's not fucking like going. You know, claustrophobic. They had to fucking give him shit. He was dribbling and all that. Yeah, it, uh, yo. People on the street started getting worried. Like you know, he's gonna flip this motherfucker. <laughs> you, you, you gotta think all the times he have that he really spent on the streets, okay. Plus, you know all the trauma that he's been through. He had he has to have mental health issues. Oh there's yeah. No, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, we're talking about pizza now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not gun smoke. Pizza. <laughs> no, <that's> not, yeah. <laughs> Look at Vinny. He did ten days in jail. He fucking went crazy. Twenty. Yo, he did twenty three days in pizza life. That's twenty three years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a day a year. He can't even remember the prison. He doesn't remember the name. Yeah. Oh, 
Pizza doesn't oh, remember got, where the fuck he, he was locked up. Cash in. App. Oh, Is he that did? the one where he escaped? Yep. Yeah, that's the one where he escaped, and uh, they never went looking for him. Right, right. he swam he, underwater for an hour. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he dove in the ravine. <laughs> by the so strip gators. club with John, uh, with John uh, A. Light. <laughs> <laughs> he has gills like a fucking tuna. <laughs> he does. That's that big thing on the side of his face. That's his gill. That sticks out, yeah. Yeah, it's his puffy gill. It puffs up when he's <laughs> he mad. <raised> <laughs> He's a puff fish. <laughs> a blow fish. Pizza puff fish. He's a blowfish. Yeah, he's a blowfish. He's a New Those York City out. puff fish. He's called a blowfish. Hey, yeah, blow he's fish. a blowhole. <laughs> he's poisonous too. <laughs> and uh, he's still wearing the same shirt. I think it, uh, who who said it? Ridge. I that think. That fucking thing must smell, boy. Oh, you know he's not doing laundry. And you know laundry. he sleeps. He doesn't, he doesn't wipe his ass. What laundry? Yeah. And that one towel he says is Leon. He they probably share a towel. Let's all be. Oh, he's uh, so proud of that <laughs> towel. It's weird. It's like I got a towel, nice towel. But you got to think about better than him. You got to think about it. With all those days he was in the hotels, he probably has sheets. He probably has towels socked away. He probably has one duffel bag just full of uh, linen. Oh, he's definitely still in those hotel towels, the little soaps, the robe he had on, yeah. <laughs> the robe. <laughs> Who's gonna stop? You did, come to think about it, if, it, if somebody wanted to really invest money on it and did a forty-five minute doc, that could be a setup for a, an eventual. Eventually, could become like a uh, reality show. But he's probably very, really hard to deal with. Obviously, yeah. And just follow him around and cut your best moments you have with him in forty-five minutes. Put it out. Uh, you, you you probably get something there. You probably. would. It would. It could never be on a uh, any anything big. It would have to be a YouTube that got followers because. Of all the stuff he says, and if you're gonna use the good stuff he says, like the Nevada weed and turkey based thing, <laughs> the, comedy, like a, the comedy channel would buy it. Yeah, you think so? Or put them on yeah. HBO or something. I yeah, but know. you know who would? You know who would? So you know, there's groups for everything. There's groups for people with mental illness, and they might take offense to it. Yeah, because you might ex be exploiting the poor prick, you know, for money, monetary, <laughs> and it's kind of it's kind of true too. Look at all those shows like My 600 Pound Life you, you, and all those other shows they got on that channel. They're, they're exploiting. They're exploiting. Yeah, oh, I, I agree with you. I, I'm, I'm saying there's, there's yeah. definitely a network for them. I, people would, would, would definitely take. I mean, like the Comedy Central. Like, look at South Park. They, they don't care. They say everything. Yeah, yeah and that Eric Andre shit. show is on Adult Swim. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's so, crazy. He's kind of <laughs> like Excuse me. he's kind of like um, PG compared to some of these shows. Yeah, <laughs> but j Jeez. just just to watch him, I keep Gunsmoke on my TV or phone, and I watch him too. And I'm not like PX, bro. I don't just go over. I, I, I get two <laughs> devices going, you know. Yeah, no, I, yeah. He's funny. He's funny as fuck. Yeah, and I like to report the gun smoke so then he gets some material. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, one that keeps on gun smoke. Did you play the uh monkey thing to him the other day? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> I'm gonna make a compilation of that. Bro, he's got, that... He, he has at least three episodes where he's doing that. <laughs> That's priceless, bro. Yeah. What a That's... sick thought. You should you should make one video, like a two-minute video. Of, or a minute video of between picking his nose, the monkey, <laughs> all his curses, yeah. and it, the bathroom one, and just put it together. And the yard oh. bird, too. You got yard yeah, bird. Tony's best hits. He's got yard bird. Yeah, Tony's greatest hits. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, bro. It would be priceless. It's going to be easy to put together, too. It's only you a, did you catch the one when you went on Angel's show? Which with one? The, the recent one? Yeah, with MB. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. He's in there like he's walking into a club. You know, hey, how you doing, ladies? How are you? Real mellow. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they don't know who the fuck he is, you know? Yeah, he's a gentleman. Hey, you dumbass out of here. Like, how are you, ladies? Everybody okay? The minute yeah. MB, hey, yeah, you're a twat. He started going off in one minute. Yeah. You got everybody fooled. Yeah, you got an answer for everything, don't you, MB? Yeah. I, I never seen nobody trigger him like Zio Lesso, though. When yeah, he, yeah. When that's he saw okay, him come yeah. on the screen, he was like, "Get him off! Get him off!" 
sick that, that, Come on, man. Everybody has that schizophrenic when they grow up in the neighborhood that, that yeah. people used to love to get pissed off, you know? Yeah, they used to hang out by the train station. <laughs> <laughs> you walk by the train station, you give him a dollar. Yeah. He was always there. That's pizza. Right. One day you give him a dollar, the next day you fucking say something to him so he'd fucking just like tear his clothes off. <laughs> get pissed. Oh, Yo, Isaac, God. thank you for the uh, super chat, Isaac. Thank you. I remember this woman that used to be in my neighborhood. She would just be the nicest woman in the world. And then fucking sometimes she'd just scream like they were pulling a fucking kidney out. And, 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 and if she caught you like at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning walking to school or something, <laughs> fuck, it was the scariest fucking thing in the world. You know, we got used to it. But then when we used to come home, we used to fuck with her. Oh, man. You know, like, ah! And she'd be like, ah! You know, whatever. <laughs> the biggest problem in this country that 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 we don't even address is mental illness. Unfortunately, the big issue. Yeah, yeah. There's it's more. No, my mom used to say it all the time. There's more crazy people outside than there are in the fucking nut house. Uh, you yeah. you don't you don't realize it like until you really look at it. Like like I said, I work in an emergency room besides DJing, and when what I see in there, bro. Is it's the it's the biggest problem in this in this country right now. There's no resources for it. There's no, no really help. There's such stigmatism. They took it. away all those um, asylums well, too back in the day. Well, you know all these yeah. benefits that they have for these people. Uh, there's benefits out there, but who the fuck you think they're gonna fucking do paperwork? You think they're gonna go to these uh, social uh, uh, social workers and and let, right. let people. They, they they don't they don't even know how to tie their shoes. Some of these people, you know what I mean? They don't even wash. So, yeah. they, like like I'll, t- I'll give you an example. There's people that when the unemployment came out back when, during the uh, COVID epidemic, some right. of these people were entitled to money and they didn't even know how to get their own fucking checks. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Or have yeah, yeah, yeah they didn't know how to get that. What, what, what's that twelve hundred dollar check they were giving out to everybody? The uh the oh what well, what did they call that? They gave out three of them. The uh, I, stimulus. The uh, what do they call it? Come on, gun smoke. The woke, the woke checks. I, the woke, I, the woke yeah. checks. Anyhow, the George Soros checks. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, it's like the stimulus. There you go, stimulus. Ray. Yeah, uh, and, and the stimulants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stimulus. Stimulants. Yeah, taking your stimulants, your Devado. Yeah, so 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 most of these people didn't even know how to get them themselves. They had other people get it for them. And, and take care of their money, you know, all that shit. Yeah. Uh, he has somebody on his thing right now. Scammy the bullshit Ratvano. Come to Arizona. I'll give you a job changing my diapers. <laughs> <laughs> shit. You know what gets me with him? He, like, for the past couple of weeks, if you've been watching him, he gets the, he gets his month rent. Okay, I got 300 in the kitty for the next one. I got another three. He built it up to now twelve hundred. So now that's his money. That's not rent money now. That's my savings. I'm not using my savings on my rent. <laughs> Shit. I, he wants another twelve hundred plus money to start his detailing business, or else he's leaving. Yeah, at least five hundred for the detailing business that he's never gonna do. Yeah, He'll come up with some scam like, oh, you know, it didn't work out. I didn't have enough money for the product, and I had to buy Leon a doggy biscuit. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's it's. Pro- I don't understand. And the people, well, I guess the people in the chat might might be finally catching on. Yeah, th- that's what it is. He's blaming everybody else. It's it's his own bullshit. His I own chat. Where he went wrong with that Schumacher guy when he fucking yeah. turned on him like yes. that. I think Have a lot of people. Will love the- yeah, yeah. That's not the first time he's done that to one of his big donors, but I think that was the last straw with a lot of people. Yeah, because who wants who wants to deal with that? I'm yeah. giving you money upon money upon money, and then you're going to turn around and dox me? And Did you see the accusations that, that he said about the guy? Yeah, all that shit. Kidnapper, chomo, all that shit he said. Yeah, I mean, your guy works for a living. He has a family. So me fucking trying to be nice to this fucking scumbag, he's going to freaking lie about me and make me lose my job? That's yeah. the type of shit he should drive over there with his 18 wheel and hit him with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do if the I lost my job over helping you out and you lied about me, there's going to be a problem. I- I'll come up there to Moorhead and I'll fucking pull you. 
Well, oh, anybody holy. turns up at my house uninvited, I'm going to yeah. leave you in the parking lot, and then you're going to be in jail. Oh, he's got a big machete he walks around with. Yeah, that's good. You see, you see how that does him. Yeah, that, yeah. and he, he also has a sledgehammer, too. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Yeah, he does. <laughs> That motherfucker sees anybody pull up by him. You know what he's going to do? He's going to fucking run and scream. That's he's going to run or try to talk his way out of it? Yeah. It's the guys with the biggest mouths that are the ones that will run first. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's the guys that that are quiet that you got to be be weary of. Yeah. That's certain. I mean, it's all. It's, I, I like to have fun. You know, first of all, if you don't want no problems, just don't come on YouTube. I get that. I get right. that. But at the same time, you know, there's certain type of if anybody has an address on you and you really want to put some fucking, you know, you want to do some uh, really shady ass shit to people, you know, you got to watch out. Yeah. You know, he, you know, he, he stagnated in that fucking place right now. He's got to watch out who he fucks with. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I think I think it also yeah. he like he's been on the street so long. It's like it's like being 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 away, right? If you when you're away, you get so look look at uh, the other guy that we've been that that we don't like. When you're away for that long, you get used to that life. Well, I, I don't mean, mind you, that guy. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I you know, he's, once upon a time we all we all got along, and I get along with him. It's not bad. Right. I get along with Smoke too. We all have our favorites. You know what I mean? Right. And, no, no, no. I'm not no, even no, no, I'm not saying that. About. Smoke is my favorite. You know, we talked to Howie. He likes uh, FBS a lot. Yeah. I like FBS too, but uh, we right. all have favorites. You talk to Anthony, he loves that guy in Miami. So it's it's just everybody has their favorites. Right. No, no, no. I I understand. I'm not saying even saying anything bad. No, what no, I'm I'm not, I'm, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, but when you're, when you're away for so long, you get used to that life. Institutionalized. Yeah. Right, and and that's your personality with with pizza. He's been in the street so long; that's his life. For him to not be able to to walk along, you know what I'm saying? He's used to being not confined. Now that no, he has I know an apartment, he's confined. He's a creature of habit, right? Yeah, so no, absolutely. it's messing with him mentally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he made a hundred dollars today. Somebody said. That's yeah, fucking people got... want to work for a hundred dollars a day. What the fuck is this <laughs> that's problem? That's a day's pay. That's more than I made today, but that's a I day's pay. I mean, what the 50, fuck? 30. Bro, you think yeah. about it. That's uh, that's seven hundred dollars. Even if he made a hundred a day, seven hundred dollars a week for being a buffoon. That's what he is. He's yeah. a buffoon. He and makes seven hundred dollars for being a buffoon. It's cash. Yeah. So you so that's like making a thousand dollars a week. Yeah. If he was paying taxes. Right, exactly. exactly, exactly. So a thousand dollars a week, because this is all cash app. So a thousand dollars a week isn't good for you. That's four thousand dollars a month. No, it's not. It, he needs more. That that that's a regular. It's his. It's a regular job, right? Yeah. There are people that don't even make forty eight thousand dollars a year. Gross. Yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. On, right yeah. Back. Yeah, Kaz, and he's not doing anything, and he and he's complaining. So you know. Right. What? You have a rent? Well, welcome to the real world. You got a rent. You, if he even has an electric bill, let's say, all right, it's a bill. These are bills that normal people have and you have to pay. This is the real world. Like, you want to be part of society. This is how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. You know, it, 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 it's just comical, bro. It's, it's, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, some of the shit, it's the gift that keeps on giving, yeah. And get, it's like herpes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, no, he's like herpes, you have him, you have him forever. And just when you think he's gone, he comes back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the creature from the black lagoon. What is it? Yeah, oh my god. And his team, he he really, but you hit the. Well, he needs somebody to fucking invest money on him on a dot on one of those fucking mockumentaries or well, what was he mocking? But like, like Borat, he, <laughs> yeah, like Borat, right? right, right, right. <laughs> He's all Borat. That's what he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, yeah, he could start in the beginning. He social clubs. He'd be waving at gangsters, and they'd be ignoring him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he don't know me anymore. 
Ah, the, the, all the gangsters I know are dead. These are their sons. <laughs> right. Then, yeah, then he then he goes 3,000 miles for one and three. Yeah, you, you got something there. <laughs> he, I, I just can't, man. It, it's definitely the comic relief of my day. You know, yeah. I... I, and how many times is he going to say goodbye? Just, he, every day, I'm just saying goodbye. Today, he made 100 He's still going to complain at the end of the thing. All I get is $100? Like, how much more do you want? Oh, Frank's gone. Gumbino, where are you? Now I'm carrying the show, and I can't even see the chat? Holy shit. Gumbino, you're going to lose more people. Hurry up. <laughs> God damn it, what happened to Frank? <laughs> he must have left again. I'm talking, and then I hear silence. I'm like, wait, where? And I look, Frank's not there. You're every not time, there. Every time I, I step me. away. Yeah, I went to the bathroom. Every time I step away, you guys disappear on me. God I'll damn it. I'll send you a bunch of urinals from the ER. You, you got to pee while you're, on, uh, while you're there, pal. I need a diaper like uh, Danny Trio. <laughs> Get me a shit bag. Uh, <laughs> even though I, I did a number one, not a number two. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get we'll get you. They got this thing that we use in the hospital. It's a it's the called bottom? a condom cat. Oh, you put it on. It's, it's a condom that's hooked up to a suction unit, and when you pee, it gets sucked into the canister. Shit, <laughs> that's a nice it, invention. Well, they you know what we use? They have these things for uh, females. They're called uh, they're called pure wicks. They look like a they look like a tampon, okay. They're bendable. You put them outside the vagina, okay, and it sucks in the uh, urine into a canister. And what's it called? It's called a pure wick. Look it your, up. Your pure wick babies. Yeah, what's you got your pure, pure wick turkey basted Nevada eating. <laughs> That turkey based is shit. It's like just when you think he can't come up with something good, something new, he he, he surprises you. He turkey has the he, Adam, he has the best lines. Yeah. He just comes up with them off the top of his head. But too the bad best, he's a fucking car, uh, He's leaving again. Yeah, I know. He's taking it out on Leon too. He says Leon's getting kicked out or something. He's getting rid of he, Leon. Yeah, but right now he's ready to sign off. Isaac says, stop buying steaks and save. Learn how to budget your money. Exactly. Let's see what this prick's saying. And I got to work. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. Well, I got all these jerk offs attacking me from every angle. <laughs> he said, Fuck that. Fuck a job. Well, I got people attacking me. Like, how am I supposed to work if they're attacking me? Yeah, they, they, we, we, destroyed, we destroyed that whole town for them. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you nobody knows who the fuck he is over there except his landlord. His landlord said uh, that he's a good guy. He's like, yeah, she don't know me. She says, hey, he's a good guy. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, he signed off already. He made the hundred and ran. Sayonara to everyone. Pizza said sayonara. <laughs> so long, suckers. Yesterday he was saying so long, suckers. Now it's yeah. sayonara. YouTube YouTube can ruin your life. That's his thing. Yeah, what an idiot. So long, yeah. suckers. Well, he came on here trying to ruin people's lives and he's he's upset when it happens to him. That that's that's all that's all he does, bro. That that's his that's his whole that I, I give a lot of content here. When he says that, I laugh. Because if he's doing content, then then why does he uh, attack everybody else? Because his he does nothing compared to you, FBS and stuff like that. He just totally is looking at the screen. I'd say fifty percent of the time, staring at the comments on the screen, saying nothing. Or he's at he's, he gets up and goes to the sink. Right. You know. Right. And when he, I told this to FBS when I was on the show. I said when he did those cooking shows, they they were. Gold, bro. One time he stabbed himself in the in the hand. He started <laughs> bleeding. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of the HIV with his eggs. Yeah. Yeah, and then he goes, "Ah, oh, I think it might have got in the sauce." All right, I'm the only one eating it anyway. <laughs> so he wraps it up in 
he wraps it up in paper towel because he doesn't have band-aids in the house. Yeah. You know, the other time he was cooking steaks and eggs. I did you, I don't know if you saw this gun. It was priceless. He's cooking the steaks and eggs. He's like, Yeah, look at this steak. And now I'm gonna put my eggs on. They're seven dollars a dozen, he says. <laughs> so so he cracks two eggs and he puts them in there, right? And that frying pan when he had that uh when he had that big uh, outdoor thing in the house, right? Uh-huh. So, so he's cooking it with his uh, with the pan that has the upside down handle. He pulls out the steak and he's going, <laughs> he's going, look at this steak, and he's showing it to the thing. And as soon as he does it, his ha- arm must have hit the uh, the pan, so the eggs fall out, fall oh. on the floor. <laughs> what a fuck up! It, it was disaster. So then he scrapes the eggs back into the back into his plate. He's like, "That that that's still good." <laughs> open, but that's still good. Three second rule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know he he's just uh, I love. He's a fucking you know, mess. You gotta love him. He's a necessary evil. Yeah. yeah. And then he put together that futon and he fucked it up. He didn't follow the instructions and it's yeah. like all like on the slant or some shit. Like he can't even sit up straight. He was done with it. He goes, you see? You see? I didn't see. And then he goes, but I got a lot of parts left over here. I got, <laughs> what, are we, what is this? He shows 20 screws. He goes, I don't know where these handles go. We had like three handles on that, that weren't put on. Yeah. He had like 10 missing parts, bro. Good. I hope the fucking thing collapses and breaks his fucking back or something. He gets a fucking I was praying neck. that he would sit on it and he would fall it's back. Collapsed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would <laughs> have been hilarious. On YouTube. On that live, would have yeah. been the best, bro. We would have never let that shit die down. That would <laughs> We would have been making jokes about that for the rest of his fucking life. <laughs> like the the time uh, I sent it to FBS. I think I still have it. If you want, I'll send it to you. The time he's playing with Leon and Leon's jumping on him and then Leon pushes him over in the chair and all you see is Tony's beats his feet in the air. I heard about that, yeah. <laughs> that I heard was about one that. of the best, bro. Yeah, send me that if you could. That'd be great. Yeah, I gotta send you that. I'll send you that when we get off. Hold but, on, I'll be right back. Hold on. Oh, you leaving me again? I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Give me just one second. Hold on. I think people ahead. are fucking with my family. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see. Where, where? Let's see if I can uh, see what's on here. Let's see if I can. Uh, gun, gun smoke. Thank you, and FBS for being a friend. What's up, John DeLong? Oh. Anthony Breeze, no, he gorilla glued the cut. <laughs> He's just priceless, man. What? What? Let me ask everybody. Put in the chat your favorite uh, pizza moment. The time that the Boston guy sent them a few suits and he was showing them off as classics. They're probably still at his mom's. I thought he was gonna start thinking when he got the apartment that he went more crazy. Definitely Falconetti. It's like I was saying to Frank, he's a creature of habit. You know, it's making him being locked up in the apartment. It's making him more, you know, crazy. Isaac, what's up, Isaac? You know, let me put in the chat, guys, your favorite pizza moment that you remember. <clears throat> All right, I'm back, but I have to go in another minute. <clears throat> um Oh, that, I'll, I'll be back again after that. I just, that's uh, okay. I, 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 I told people to put in the chat their uh, favorite pizza moment. Oh. Damn, what's my favorite pizza moment? What, what is yours, Gunbino? I'm trying to think. His interview with MRE was a good one, BX said. Oh, yeah, when he's telling his fake stallie. Yeah, Falconetti, exactly. Yeah, his feet were in the air and his toe was pointed like a ballerina. <laughs> Ranger fan, don't step one foot in my mom's erection. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's uh, a... What's sh- yours, Gumbino? Come on, there's so I, many. I, I guess when he was running all up and down the East Coast uh, away from Danny Trio's friend over there, he, he yeah, got that... all over the fucking country. Huh? Yeah, well, that, that's the well that that was over a time, like one yeah. moment in particular. 
Jesse mm. Roth's was when the barista at Starbucks told him he had a phone call. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, actually, I, I agree. That's my favorite. Yeah. That, yeah. They, they, they're, they're trolls. trolls. <laughs> they don't exist. They're trolls. They're trying to troll me. Tell like, him go fuck himself. <laughs> he talks to people like they all know that he's on YouTube. What a troll is. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. His nicknames, Isaac, yes. His nicknames are priceless. When oh, he spits, yeah, when he spits off all the street names is classic. Yeah. Sean Landon Clark. Oh, you know what? You know what mine was? Antonino, mine was almost like yours. Antonino liked when he got an apartment finally at 40, 56 <laughs> years old. <laughs> yelling, so I happy. did it. Yeah. Like a little kid. <laughs> mine was, do you remember when uh the frog got off a of paper and he was on the phone with him. He's like, yeah, yeah, we died. <laughs> He's yelling like the Rangers won the Stanley Cup. He's yelling because this guy got, yeah, now, now we're coming for all of you. <laughs> Stupid bastard. That was my favorite moment. Tony yeah. to pick, Tony tough guy, handsome Tony. The man with a thousand blowjobs. Yeah, what Alan Tello says the funniest pizza moment was when Lee Cole tried to lie about some fake family article had on had and had pizza on. Pizza pizza kept saying, Whoa, joke, get the fuck out of here for every question. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, say what's up, Sean, Timothy? Sean Land the Clock says saying FBS doesn't have a futon, not knowing he was being trolled. Classic. Yeah, he's so proud of himself. Yeah, FBS doesn't have a fut futon. I got a futon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're jealous of my futon. The futon, the black futon that's missing 30 parts. You're jealous <laughs> of it. He says he's going to give it to some homeless guy. He's going to leave it in the street. Yeah, he'll leave it in the street for himself because that's where he's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roaming the earth, walking he, the earth, bro. It's priceless because he's trying anything to get it to get it out he's of. Desperate. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's like, well, you know what? I got this apartment for Leon. It's unfortunate that now Leon's going to be exposed to the elements. <laughs> he should have titled that show "Pity Party." Yeah. Come join my pity party. What did uh, BX say? I see Frog every morning when I drive my son to school. Guy lives in a minivan. But at least he can hold the BS job, though. He also has a lawnmower and a cut grass. <laughs> now, is Frog is Frog Tony Pep's son? I don't know. Uh, uh, the Frog. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I forgot his name. Isn't I wonder it Joe if that's Biggs Tony. I don't know. I wonder if that's Tony Pep's son because Tony Pep's son lives in a lives in a thing too. I think he's homeless. Shit. And yeah. I, I don't know how that is. They were supposed to live together. Yeah, but how is Tony Pep's son homeless? That's know. what I want. Could be drugs. I mean, a lot of those guys got involved with heavy drugs. Right. Some of them, uh, they live shit lives. I don't know. Oh, no. BX said uh, the frog is Joe Biggs. A yeah. childhood friend of pizza. Oh, Lee Cole's here. He says no frog is 100% not Tony Pep's son. Ah, Lee Cole. Lee Cole. Lee Cole. Lee Cole. I don't know, Lee Cole. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you not know, dude? What's Come on, now? dude. Come on, dude. I think if Lee was just had more, uh, didn't take things so seriously all the time, he would, he, he, you know, he's, I don't know. Sometimes I think he's not a bad guy. He needs more I know, of a sense Antonino of humor. wants to block yeah. Lee. That's <laughs> yeah, what Antonino. I see. Can I block Lee? Please. Please, Gunsmoke. Give me the okay. I think I told him the other day, like, okay, you could time him out. Don't block him. But, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't time him out right now. This is the unblocking party. So Yeah. Oh, this bigger fish God. to fry. Hold uh, on. Let me show this real quick. Have there been, have there been a lot of uh, – what you because I've been watching on my TV – so I have the chat running on the thing. You don't see who people get blocked. Have there been a lot of people getting blocked? On here? No, not really. Uh, these people didn't show up. I don't think they give a shit anymore. You know what? I, I don't think they wake up this early. That's true, too. Yeah, they're sleeping. They've been up all night fucking doing horrible things. 
Yeah. What did BX say? Pizza said the frog. You, you, you know what gets you me with have pizza? have a monkey. You know what gets me with pizza when he goes, you're all no name, no faces. Okay. Everybody in his chat, discount beatings, Joe Biggs. Who uses their real name on Tony Pizza's show? Tell me. Nobody. Who shows their face on Tony Pizza's show? Nobody. Nobody. You better start showing your face again, Gunsmoke. Yeah, I, I think that's that would help my channel. I think that's why I, I lost being, a lot of people. I'm being serious. I really, yeah. I really do. I got to stop being lazy. I lost a lot of people not showing my face. I think uh, they don't want to support the channel if you don't show your face. They don't feel connected to you. or Yeah, because, you know, you just see the same avatar. Yeah. No, I understand. I thought about that the other day. And if you I want to make more money on here, I got to show my face. Yeah. yeah, look at look at FBS. You know what you call it, it, or look at anybody that's successful in the YouTube thing, and you just you know you gotta you gotta follow their lead. Yeah, you know FBS never n like very rarely he'll go to the avatar. Rare, he hates it. Yeah, yeah, but that's why he's so successful in here. You know, he shows his face. Uh, people feel like they know him. It's like uh, I don't know. Right, because you're connecting with the human being. You, human you know? being, dude. Yeah. You got to be a human being, dude. It's all about the numbers. Where's the picture? Hold on. I have him as a human being. <laughs> a human coffee bean. There we go. Lee, there do you. I have butter skin, Lee? <laughs> kind of. You got the good butter skin. You don't have any wrinkles. I don't have butter skin, Lee. I got nice skin, bro. Butter skin is nice. When he says butter skin, that means you have nice, soft, uh, glowing skin. Oh, is that is that the definition, Lee, that we're looking for? I know you're still here, so answer, answer at least, Lee. I got to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. grab the link. Yeah, you want to come on? I, I'm running Gumbino's show right now. Yeah, today's a party. It's supposed to be a party anyway, so I wanted pizza to join everybody, whoever. It's Freaky Friday. Yeah. Freaky Friday with Gumbino. Yeah, just less <laughs> freaky. Yeah. Oh, what what are you doing this? Well, I know you don't like to talk really out yeah, of here, I don't, but you do yeah. You but, doing uh, anything? Um uh, I thought yeah. about taking somebody somewhere, but uh right. we'll, see. we'll see how it goes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just cooling out, chilling out with the family. Yeah. You know? I gotta send you uh I'm gonna be on uh <laughs> there's a radio station that's out here, but you can download the app. It's uh, called Party 105.3. Okay. And they're doing, it's called the Memorial Day uh, DJ Takeover. So I have on, so all weekend it's just mixes. So I submitted five mixes. So I got three on on Saturday, one on Sunday, one on Monday. At night? Uh, all through the day. There's like a 2.30, okay. a 4.30, and an 11. I want to tune in. I want to hear your name, like DJ Kaz on the one and twos. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll send. I'll send you the thing. And <laughs> if right. you look, if you look, a, a couple of people are, are on my Instagram. I have it up on Instagram too, but I'll send it over to you. I got five good mixes up there. Nice. All right. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hold on. Well, give me one second. Talk to the chat real quick. Go yeah, ahead, I'll back. talk to the chat. I'll talk to the chat. I got. I got gotcha. you. Butter skin means soft skin that will bust open from the lightest touch. Gotcha, gotcha, Falcon Eddie. Ah, oh, so the gun smoke left me again. What do I do now? Do we go back to the pizza moments? What, what, what do we talk about, people? How's everybody? I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day weekend, mostly safe. I'll be working, doing some gigs, but uh, Sunday I might be going to the air show. Ranger fan, you are you out in Long Island, Ranger fan? And BX, you're here. Morning, I'm being a morning cast. Good morning. Good morning. You hear me? Yeah, we hear you loud and okay. clear. Good. Okay. Now that you're here, BX, I can't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to leave Gumbino alone. He likes the support. I'm going to yeah. turn my co-host over to BX. God damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And uh, Lee Cole, you didn't answer my question. I'm mad at you again. <laughs> you're, back in, you're back in timeout. Hmm. 
I'll see you, everybody, in the chat. Thank you for having me on, Gumby. Thank you for being here, bro. Thank you for the support, and you have a good weekend. Later, Always, guess, and everybody have a great mem- BX, same <laughs> to you, brother. And everybody have a great Memorial Day weekend, and be safe. <clears throat> Later, All right, brother. Thank you. Yeah, no drinking and driving. So what's Only up, BX? Nah, not that yeah. much. <laughs> uh, yeah, were you watching shit. pizza earlier, you little prick? Oh man, the guy's <laughs> fucking YouTube platinum, man. Yeah, he's a crybaby. It's funny. We'll see him tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Or later this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Where did Frank go? Uh Frank said he'll be back in a few minutes. I don't know. He's probably uh so, taking all a dump. Say is, don't be fooled by any cash app requests. If it doesn't say Bad Vegan 007, the correct way. Yeah, somebody's trying to take his cash apps now. They're putting out a fake cash app out there. That line that Wu Gambino put on was classic, man. Like when he said, I got an apartment and uh, and bills. I got to get a job. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. That yeah I got an apartment great. and bills. I got to get a job now. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck you. You're going to pay. Fuck you. That's how he talks to people. Good. I'm glad his people are turning against him now. It's about time they fucking woke up and smelled the roses. Motherfuckers. Let's see. Then it ain't me. I mean, it's junkies with, 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 with fake channels. With my name, my face, my, you know. Yeah. Sun grown with his fucking taking my name. All of them. Bambi Palamo. He's blaming Bambi again. All of them. <laughs> it's everybody else's fault. What the hell, BX? You scare me. You're so quiet. Lee must remember Trio threatening Shanna on Angel's show. How about it, Lee? Yeah, I'm sure he remembers. Well, Trio's gone now. And, uh, you know, we let sleeping dogs lie. We don't forget. We just uh, move on, you know? What are you going to do? Danny Trio said a lot of shit. God damn it. Yo, BX, what the fuck? Am I a fucking mirage over here? I'm just talking to myself? God damn it. Can you people hear me? Am I talking to myself here? B- oh, okay, it's just BX. <coughs> He's you got that. Me? Oh, look, I hear you now. No, I guess I was just off, yeah. No, I God was saying, it. freaking, I was saying, like, Trio was... Like that had to be the biggest fraud, man, of like of like YouTube. Who? Like his story, his stories were like unbelievable. You know, they were crazy, but like to find out different name to see his ex wife. I mean, I was like, holy. Oh, God. trio, yeah, yeah, trio, yeah, big fucking fraud on here. Yeah, I mean that that lady Rosalie, she blew him up. Yeah, that lady broke my heart too, man. She got all emotional and shit thinking about him. That was rough. But yeah, it's uh, you know, we got some info on him. That was nice to to learn. Yeah. You seen his belly button before? He's <laughs> <laughs> got a prick on his belly button. Yeah, that's a he big uh he got a little he got that checked out. That's like a big uh what do they call that? A friggin' uh um what hernia? do you call that? A what? A hernia? Yeah, you got a, that's a big yeah. hernia, man. Yeah. Yo, Lance. <coughs> Yo, what the fuck? Do I have like a horrible connection or something? Yo, Lance. Oh nah, my yeah. I, I can't fucking win in my life. No, I got you Lance on the me? show. Yeah, I hear you. But I didn't hear you before. No, nah, because my the, the the mic wasn't accessed. God damn it. Think I need this in my life? Yo, Lance. What's up, Smoke? I figured yeah, I'd jump back into the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. You got that good butter skin, boy. <clears throat> what are you doing? You, Dev- <clears throat> you fucking Devado eater. <clears throat> Lance, you're a Steeler fan? Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got to fucking talk to this guy at Morse code. <laughs> Definitely, BK. <laughs> 
God damn it, Lance. Uh, what'd you ask him? He likes the Rangers or something? Nah, he likes the Steelers. Oh, the Steelers. Football season's over. God damn it, Lance. How about so? Nah, I mean, my, my mic went out too. I don't know. Maybe his mic went out. Oh, we lost him now. God damn it. That thing, same thing happened to Frank earlier. What the fuck? Why can't we get Tony Pizza on here to talk shit? You took away all my money. All need to say my name. <laughs> Use my name. Yeah, that's all you did, gun broke. He's he won said, that. He's won that shirt for three days straight already. Yeah, when he says that I'm sitting around eating cat, oh, that's oh, funny, man. man. <laughs> you see, you, you, you can't take be... nothing he says serious. You know? No, it's just... fucking hilarious. I just I wish would, he wasn't I such flush, a spiteful. I was your balls yesterday when I told you I was going to the show. Oh yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what the fuck, man? I'm like, yeah, thanks for letting me know, you prick. <laughs> 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 you fucking asshole. You know I need every viewer I could get. You, you never know? know. It could be his last show. You you, you know, you got to take these moments in. That's true. You don't want to miss out. I, I oh. agree. Yeah. No, I feel you. You know, the I last pity party. The last pity party. Yeah, the last pity party to end all pity parties. Yeah. That's what he should have titled the show, My Pity Party. He probably would have got more donations. Yeah. And his boys hasn't been, haven't been around, though, like, uh, like Ramper. And uh, Wizard, they, they haven't been around. You know what you know? that is? That's because he's talking about going to the cops. Yeah. I don't think they like that. I think no. that fucked him over. That was the last straw. First, Sammy lying about him and like saying that he knew him. I think that was a bad look for Tony. And yeah. then also on top of that, talking about he's going to call the cops on me, FBS, and everybody. Yeah. That, you know, even though they don't like us, that rubbed people the wrong way still. You know, they don't want to hear nothing about no cop calling and shit. You know? Yeah. And then when he said, when, when, when Sammy said he never knew him, you know, you kind of was like, you know, they were probably were like, wait a minute. Like, you know, he, he can't be lying because he said he doesn't really know you. Yeah. <clears throat> exactly. He said he was, a, he was a Gambino enforcer. That's what Kaz asked him. <laughs> oh, I never said I was a, uh, a Sammy enforcer. You never, you never, you never said. I was a Samuel for you said in a Gambino enforcer. He did. I have it. I recorded that part somewhere. I have yeah. it. He said he was a Gambino enforcer. Yeah. On record from the FBI. And that uh, John was his skipper. Yeah. John Gotti was a skipper. He looked over Angel. I bet Tony Pep had a social club and he let the guy stay there. And that and that was it. I bet I bet if he really knew him, if he knew Tony Pep, because he does speak to his son. So, but I bet I bet Tony Pep freaking let the guy freaking sleep in his back room or something. That was. You think that's really his son? I don't know. Man, nah. could I be. I don't know. There's no. I mean, the, the couple times I mean that he was on the phone with. I I I wouldn't doubt that. Okay. You know, I wouldn't doubt that. Um, I mean, he's he's adamant about every other lie, but yeah, the Tony, the Tony Pep thing, he doesn't know him at all, probably as far as. <laughs> That I guess I guess that type of life, but maybe knowing him as a guy that people felt bad for, you know, I'm sure I'm sure people felt bad for him his whole fucking life. Yeah, and they gave him shit. You know. Pity party, yeah. I mean, he gets around. I mean, uh, he knew he knew all the spots to go to to find the celebrities, and uh, I'm sure he knew all the spots to go to to find the wise guys too. Back in the day, you know, because when he left home, he was. 16. That was like what 1983, 84. Fucking heyday of the mob. So I'm sure, yeah, he saw some pricks somewhere. And you know, Pizza said he did date my actresses. So you got to give the guy some credit, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> Sharma. I uh, stayed in the best hotels. Annette Benning. <laughs> yeah. Joy Behar. Yeah. He, he sat outside a restaurant and said, Hey, can you take a picture with me? Yeah, that's what he did. Harassing people. Hey, Sam Jackson, how are you? I'm about to call you every name in the book after you turn your back on me. I'm but, uh, you want to take a picture? I'm trying to find that clip where he says he was the enforcer. A few of those. Yeah. Just look it up. The FBI, the FBI, you know, they corroborated it. They said, yeah, he was an enforcer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 
he said something. I, I saw some show he did. He said, yeah, the FBI, they had the gun. And they said, yeah, there's a few bodies on this gun. They were breaking <laughs> my balls. They were joking. They were laughing with me. <laughs> what about when he, hold on. <clears throat> what about when he said he came out of jail and uh, there were a couple of cops looking at him? <laughs> yeah, and he was paranoid. In the cars. He said, no, nah, I was looking at my face because inside the mirror sucked. So the cop said, who are you? And he goes, uh, why? why? And the cop said, well, you got all these numbers on there. And Pizza goes, I had numbers from New Orleans, Cleveland, <laughs> Buffalo, California. <laughs> I was yeah. like, God, who carries around their fucking phone bill? Stupid asshole. Lee says that uh, Pizza knew Pep. He did know him. He used to clean his social club, nothing more. Yeah, that's what I bet. I'm, I'm sure freaking Pep was a guy... Goddamn Bronx internet. <laughs> Sorry to curse, man. No, no, no. You, you, fuck the cursing. I can't even, you know, you keep cutting in and out. We're trying to fucking hear what you're saying. You're saying good shit. You got bad service. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. Take over for a second. Take over. Oh, boy. Lee, jump on. But uh, what what's up? You continue with what Kaz was saying with like fame, uh, favorite uh, pizza moments. If you have any stories, put them up. Where Gumby and I go? I don't know about that, Skin. I'm just sitting there doing shit. God damn it. My bad. <clears throat> uh, well, your service is still probably fucked up. God damn it. I'm sorry, chat. Hit the like button. Thank you for staying with me. I forgot what the hell I was talking about, man. Huh? I was asking Boston Red if he thinks uh, the Celtics can put this can pull the series out of their ass. Oh. Uh, they looked good last night. He's got Yardbird. Yardbird running wild. What's up, Ridge? Yardbird. Oh, Mustache Pete's gonna come on in 20 minutes. Thank you. It's supposed to be a fucking party here. It's supposed to have a bunch of people on here talking shit. I can't get, like, I wonder, this guy has every term, though. They, like, it doesn't matter. He thinks of things off the top of his head. He's so fucking good, too. Holy, he's he's quick with it. You know, mm -hmm. I'd probably be on the street chirping at people. That's why he's you like, know? you know, he's crazy, but he's sharp, too. Like, I can't, I can't, uh, can't explain it. Because the, the people probably talk shit to him on the street, and he comes right back and says something. He's just used to it, you know. He, he was gets, just you know, seasoned with that shit. Yeah. I agree. Uh, Ridge, this is BX. <clears throat> this is BX from the chat. Paulie Walnut's in the house. Salute. Remember when Tony was sitting outside Dunkin' Donuts and got a call from Tom Lavecchia? No, I don't. How long ago was that? Was that when he was telling them, uh, I don't know if I like you? No, nah, it couldn't have been. Don't smoke. Nah, yo, yo, yo. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay. No, I think I think um, the Lavecchia thing, I think that was Pete's first, like, thoughts about who was calling up. Like, who was, who was figuring out where he was. Because 
he was like, oh, that's Tom Lavecchia calling the, the the place. And I think from then on, everybody was like, oh, oh that's where it started. That's what I think. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember when he was in front of Starbucks and then he was doing a show and then somebody called Starbucks complaining about him and they came outside to confront him. He's like, what are you standing over my shoulder for? I'm doing a show here. He's like, you fucking woke joke. He's like, you're kicking me out of here, the woke. And the guy's like, what do you mean woke, sir? This has nothing to do with it. We just want you to leave. He's like, don't you touch me. Basta. Tim Su- Tim- <clears throat> Timothy Sullivan. You have to admit, Tony has done some funny, messed up crap on YouTube. It's my opinion. The people that get angry at times actually take him serious. Oh, the people that get angry at him actually take him serious. It's YouTube gold. Yeah, but the par- problem is he's got simps out there that do his dirty work, you know? And he tells them to do this shit. It's not him that's doing it. It's his simps because he's got crazy people out there. He's a crazy person. He attracts crazy things. So he actually has people out there trying to fuck with people's families and harassing people and, you know, trying to get them fired. Crazy shit, you know? His people have done horrible things. Under his orders, you know. So, yeah, he's funny, but uh, he also deserves whatever he's got coming to him, you know. He's also a scumbag piece of shit, let's not forget. He's a horrible person. He said horrible things, you know. About people's families, wives, all that shit, you know. So, let's not forget. He's funny, but uh, the shit he's done to people is not funny. He should have just kept it funny and, uh, you know, he could make threats and shit, but don't tell your fucking followers to do shit, you know? Gun, gun smoke, you hear me? I hear you now, 3,000 years later. P- We're pitch, in the future, pitch, maybe. Huh? Pitch, pitch it being like a, a worker at one of these places, and this guy comes up to some stranger and said, listen, if, if these people call that they're, they're trolls, if they call, you know. <laughs> they don't like, exist. They're, <laughs> they're trolls. They don't exist. Oh, now we lost them again for the next two minutes. God damn it. Thank you, DJ Kaz. $1.99. Don't forget the Verizon guy fight. Yeah, there was two. Oh, how about the guy? Oh, no, he was like, wasn't he sitting in front of like City Hall or some shit? In Times Square somewhere? And some guy came over there and said, hey, you can't sit here. Was that the Verizon guy? And he's like, I'm just sitting here. What the fuck? I'm doing a show. He's like, you get the fuck away from me. Nah, the Verizon guy was, he was nasty to him. Who's the Verizon guy? What, what happened there? What did he say there? Um, when he called him like a homo. <laughs> Wasn't that Starbucks? Yeah, but the oh. Verizon guy, they were, they were next to each other. Oh, yeah, next door. Yeah, okay. So that's the yeah. same incident I was talking about before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, you woke joke. <laughs> And the guy was caught off guard. He's like, what? Yeah. Like the woke. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. He didn't know he was in Florida. Fucking asshole. No, he was in Florida. Yeah, DJ Kaz. Oh, shit. Look at this. He's. I, I didn't even notice here. He's wait, I'm not even looking at the screen. Look at this. <laughs> hey, uh, two years ago today, I started my show, right? Yeah. And I was just thinking about that. And I think Tony came like a month later, right after about that. But August. One of the funny, funniest things he ever said. Remember when he was making fun of Ali, and he said that he couldn't, that he was on the no fly zone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one the of the terrorist fun- watch list. Yeah, he was on the terrorist watch list. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. One of the funniest things I've I've heard him do. Yeah. No, and, definitely. Uh, yeah. And also, twenty four years ago today, while Bill Cattulo was killed. It's been 24 years, huh? Yeah, today. I think they wow. abducted abducted him in the park in my neighborhood, Croshawn Park. I'm not sure. Well, he literally walked into his death. I mean, he trusted. He, you know, he had to have the bad feeling when he's when they took him behind that when, when he walked in. But he was so much of a of a gangster. He 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 just he said, "Well, if this is going to be my time, it's my time." Yeah. You know that he had to know at some point they're going to kill him. Do you think yeah. he knew that? You think he had an idea that day? 
a guy like that, uh, yeah, yeah, because certain guys, they just, they knew that that was their day, like uh, Sonny Black. They knew it was their day, and they just walked into it. Me, I would have been on the subway running out of fucking town and at the airport. What yeah. The, I mean, in a little town in Colorado. <laughs> no, didn't didn't Black. Lefty do that? Didn't Lefty do that in, in, uh, in Donnie Brasco? He gave, like, he took his stuff off his... That was Sonny Black who did that in real yeah, life. They, got that, they switched that around. They, yeah, they got that wrong. I don't know oh. why. There was even no reason to switch that around. That's Hollywood shit, you know? They're they trying made, to build a character. And then they yeah. made Bruno Indicato look like a pussy. In real life, <laughs> yeah. that dude is no pussy. That guy was like involved in a lot of heavy duty stuff. Yeah, he got a bad rap for that one. Yeah, they made him like he was hiding on the boat. That dude didn't hide from nobody. Yeah. He, he did his prison time and uh, came out, never said anything on anybody. And uh, he was involved with the Galante hit. And uh, But Sonny Black, though, he died like a man. He told him when the when the gun jammed after he, he got shot the first time, he said, oh, come on, do it right this time. And then they, they shot him again. He killed him, but uh, that that's balls, yeah. Lee, you you didn't do an interview with uh, Dom Sakali, right? Did you or no? No, no. You ever gonna try to reach out to him? We're working on some stuff. Yeah, you know, it's uh, we 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 got quite a bit of stuff lined up. We have some good interviews lined up, and uh, freeing myself away from those uh, uh, so-called uh, rat haters is the best thing I ever did. Yeah. Well, uh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say right there. God damn it. Yo, Kaz. Yo. Yeah, you got something for Lee? Mr. Lee Cole. <laughs> Mr. Kaz. Uh, you know. How are you, Mr. Lee Cole? I can't complain. I'm alive. And it's, at least you're showing your face. The host of this show doesn't show his face. It makes no sense. Well, for you, Lee, I, I, I figured I would show my face, Lee. Well, Shut up, Lee. You've been on other channels where uh, they don't show their face. You don't care. Get the hell out of here. I have not. <laughs> yeah, have. Show, they don't show their face. I'm not going to name names, but come on. Lee, Lee just brought up a, a, a memory for me. What? Because of Billy's dad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He, he, definitely, he definitely didn't know in the beginning. But... Maybe he knew towards the end he was just that tough of a guy that, you know. Well, there, there was like a certain situation. Like, didn't he uh, – either he, he was on the boss or he was trying to become on the boss. No, he was, was on the boss. They, ra yeah. they raised him to the stature of on the boss to, to throw him off. And, yeah. uh, then, but there was some type uh, of tension, though. Somebody went to jail and they thought he might take Her, over and Hercicle shit. Mexico was an evil little bastard. Yes, and he was. People say, "Oh, Persico, this Persico, that Persico was a really ruthless, evil little man," and uh, he, and they they probably took him out for no reason. Uh, they just decided to take him out because they perceived him as a threat. That's how. That's how. Yeah. Well, that that's why they took him out a hundred percent because you know they were worried. Of, it, he was so well liked. He was feared, but so well liked because he was such a good man but if you crossed him god help you so he had such a following within that family that you know persicos were like getting scared because they were away and he had such a following that they knew that they had to do something and they did it and you know billy jr you know was there, there were inklings of you know stuff going bad and you know, Billy Billy brought it up to him one time, and he said, ah, "I'm not worried." You know, the per the you know, it's, you know, it's funny though when you think about it uh, that when after he was killed, and uh, uh, Junior went back into the social club, and he's sitting there, and he had to have that feeling, and then you're looking at people that know it happened, but they don't want to say nothing because they don't want it to happen to them, and. Uh, it's like, and people don't realize that's what happens when you have these takeovers or they take someone out. Either you rise up or you keep your mouth shut. That night they chose to keep their mouth shut because they could have rose up, but they didn't want no part of it. Yeah, because, you know, he, he knew that his father was gone, unfortunately, 
And, you know, if he said or did the wrong thing, he could have been next. Yeah. So, it's know, weird. He, yeah. He did what it's, he had one to those, do. It's, one, it's just one of those classic mob stories, even though it meant the death of a man. But the guy that people forget the guy that did it also murdered somebody else pretty much the same way and uh, was a free, it became a free man, even though, oh, he murdered the cop. So, you know, so this guy murders a cop. Then he murders Wild Bill Catullo, and he's out, and, and he gets, and the government does a deal with him. I mean, he he was also involved with killing Waverly, had him kill dolls, and uh, so you think about that. I mean, and the guy literally imagine the government making a deal with a guy that killed a cop too. Yeah. Yeah. Go 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 go! It goes back to pizza. You know, he didn't do a three hundred two oh, pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he did one on, on me and FBS though. Yeah. You, you got to have somebody to tell on pizza that it's worth something that to do with 302. Nobody told fantastic. him that part. Yeah. I'll Lee, tell you what. What's the funniest pizza moment, Lee? Oh, man. There were so fucking many of them, man. He went off on you today, bro. Get out of here. You know, yeah. I know that. Wait until he goes. You know what his nickname was on the street? The Cleaner. That's what they call it. <laughs> Tony, Peck, Tony Peck nicknamed him the Cleaner because he used to clean the, uh, he used to clean the soul for club. Are these true stories, Lee? That's how he met Tony Pap. Yeah, yeah, I know this for a fact. Really? He was a cleaner. He was sitting in front. He was sitting on the street, you know, and Tony, you know, he used to say hi to the gangsters, and then Tony invited them in. He slept on the couch in there. I'm guessing that when everybody had the RICO Act and everybody started going down, Tony probably sang like a pigeon. I heard, I heard Pep say this. I heard Pep say that. Come on, it's all mysterious. Tony Pizza is very mysterious. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Boston Red, a hundred percent. When he saw uh, Jackie sit in his father's chair, I was up there a couple of times. Uh, unfortunately, one time was to get yelled at by Billy, and Billy, Billy, let me tell this story. Uh, we did, we had the DJ business together. Uh, his father had a part in the Embassy Terrace, which was a catering hall, which they took, you know, they were renovating and stuff, and. He was like, uh, why don't you and Junior start, you know, it would be your DJ business. I'll put you in as the house account. I was like, all right, great. So he, uh, what you call it, gave us the money to set it up. And we had to pay him back. Uh, no interest, of course. <laughs> but uh, we, we set up in there. And I was younger at the time. And what happened was is that I missed a couple of appointments with clients because I was reckless at the time. So uh, he called me up to the social club one night, and I came up there. A junior goes, uh, Dad wants to speak to you. I said, all right. So I came up there, and I'm sitting there, and I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there for about three hours. Billy Sr., may God rest his soul, was in the other room, and uh, Billy Jr. was next to him. And uh, I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. And Billy's Billy Jr. looked at me and I asked him to come over. He came over. I said, listen, I got to go to work tomorrow. Uh, can you ask dad if when he could speak to me? So Billy Jr. goes back up to him. And uh, <clears throat> what you call it? He whispered something in his ear. And then Billy was playing cards. Billy Sr. was playing cards at the table. I'm sitting, you know, on the other side. And he just looks at me, bro. And he had stone face. He just looks at me. He goes, listen, I'll tell you one thing. Next time you miss an appointment, walk yourself over to Bellevue because you'll save yourself the ambulance fee. And I was just like, okay. And that's all he said to me. And I I said, can I leave? I asked. He goes, yeah, you can leave. And I left. <laughs> and then I never missed another appointment. <laughs> But that's, that's a two story. Two story. <laughs> she. Yeah, he was. A, he was a very, very tough man. Very tough man. Yeah. What? What side was? Uh, was? Was uh, Greg Scarpaw? Was he on his side, or he was the on, opposite the other, side? The oh, opposite other side. side. Yeah. yeah okay. Scar Scarpaw. He was loyal to Persico. Okay. Yeah, yeah he yeah. was a. The Persicos. Yeah. They own. They own a lot. That family's loaded. I mean, they own, they own land. They own land that they lease off all over. 
they yeah. got they got a person going in prison in prison right now. I mean, that just went down. That he's trying to get out, but they won't let him out. There were, there's well, they you know I think Junior uh, Junior Purple is still in prison, right? No, the, there's another person going to just one end. Uh, Teddy? Yeah, Teddy. He tried. To, as a matter of fact, Teddy tried to get out, and they wouldn't let him out. Yeah, Teddy. Teddy, I think, is the cousin or something, right? Yeah, and he he was getting up pretty high in the family too. Uh, but I'll tell you what, man, you, you get in this line of business. You know, if your name's Persico, Gotti, or anything like that, you know, the government is going to come looking for you. Oh, 100 percent. So, Lee. Can you can, can you say Frank's name for us? Frank Fiorellino. Oh! Wow, he's been practicing. Yeah, I practiced all night because I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Francis, Francis, get it right. Francis. Oh, uh, Lee, you 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 are you are one of a kind on YouTube, Lee. Hey, I, I, a lot of people, a lot of people around on here are one of a kind. I mean. Lee, Listen, I you think got, you got the it factor, Lee. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, you, you know, I'm not going to lie. You know, my, my uh, our show's doing better than ever. We just had one of our best months ever. I mean, and just it's dropping all about videos. The numbers, Lee. Huh? It's all about the numbers. The numbers. Yeah. Why, why are we on here if it's not about the numbers? No, you're yeah. you. I mean, it, Gunsmoke will say the same thing. Gunsmoke, you don't think like Gunsmoke looks at those numbers like when he gets 120 people, 100. He, what did you have? 140 the other night? Yeah, 150. Yeah. And you look down and see those numbers. Weren't you happy? Yeah, I was happy. Yeah, sure, of course. That's what it's all about. But yeah. Lee, let me ask you a question, and I'm I'm being respectful to you. Okay, I got a couple of questions. Okay, go for it. What do you think is more important, the numbers? Or the donations, like FBS says. Uh, you have to say the donations. No, be you had, let me finish. Now, you asked me a question, and you give me an answer. <laughs> okay. okay. Here we go. You asked me a question. Let me answer it. Yes. Uh, FBS and I are two people. He's very good at making money, and that's what he does. Uh, I chose to go take another path and build my show uh, a certain way. Um, listen, I, I, I'm 62 years old. I don't have the time that a lot of people on here have, you know, to, you know, I'm going to be an afterthought, you know, I'm just trying to build a show and uh, have success with it. I don't need a lot of money to live. Like I, I make a little extra money a month and I'm happy with that. You know, yeah. I don't owe no bills. You know, so. But Lee, if you're trying to build your show, which I respect, I definitely respect it. You're trying to build it. What's the end game? So this way it would be successful and success is making money, correct? Yo, dude, why are you putting that up? You want me on here or not? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to grow up Sizzler. I love Sizzler. Give me a serious question. You're putting that shit up. All right, all right. That guy's a scumbag. You know, another crap all the time. You know. Uh, no, he's not. He's a good guy. Whatever. whatever, whatever. Okay. He loves this. Yeah. Oh, I lost. Yeah, it's probably another account of JC's. No, he's not. Definitely not. Go ahead, Lee. Lee, go to go to this question question again before uh, before um, Gunsmoke. Okay, uh, before he messes up our flow. The 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 question was, I respect you wanting to build your show. Okay, because that that's great. But the reason for building the show would be, what's the end game? To have to make money from the show. Correct. Yes, without a doubt. Okay, so then, then you would agree that making money is the end game. Okay, so then if FBS is making more money, then the numbers really don't matter because he's already reached the end game. No, 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 that's not true, dude. You ask me what I, you know, I could be on here doing lives every day making money, but I choose not to because I don't have it in me. Right. You gotta, it's not easy to get on here twice a day and go to battle. Of course. I mean, it's work, uh, and and you 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 sacrifice a lot. I mean, you get abused and hit. And no, that I stopped doing lives because I just didn't have it in, in me physically. People don't realize physically when you go to war on here, it takes a lot out of you, dude. One hundred percent. You know, I, trolls trolls are attracted to lives. That's where they all fucking come from. It's their only social interaction. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, they love I said you trolls know. are attracted to live shows. That's where they go towards because they can mess with people. But and, and some live shows are better at keeping them out than other live shows. Hey, Lee, I have a question for you that I, I wanted to ask you a while ago. Um, didn't Danny Trio say that he knew uh, Ramondi? Yeah, he did. <laughs> do, do you do you believe him now after everything? <laughs> Dude, or not? How can I believe anything he said? I, mean, <laughs> I, I just because I, I remember the best, him, like, thing, the best thing FBS ever did for me was expose him because he was he, he started costing me a lot of money. I know, I know. All my, but shows, I, I just, all my, all my shows weren't being monetized. I mean, that's how I make my money off monetizations of commercials and stuff. And I wasn't making any money with Danny. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you that because I remember on your shows back in the day, him alluding to knowing him, but he didn't want to get too into it. So I was just, uh, I thought that was interesting that one fraud knew another fraud. <laughs> yeah, but the, the problem is, is Ramundi was probably more real in the end. Yeah, probably. Really in peace. I miss you and I love you, bro. Sorry to hey, bro. Same you. Know, you someone said something about fraud. If you if you line up the frauds, like say you had uh, like the 10 biggest frauds, Dude, there's been so many frauds on here. It's incredible. I know. From, I mean, when you think about it. Yeah. You know, it, it, the people that show their faces and we have our names up there here and stuff, you know, they know everything about us. They know who we are. Well, like you said, it's a mental, it's a mental illness. These are people that have been doing this their whole life, but now they have another platform to make a bunch of people try to believe that there's somebody they're not, oh. you know? I'll give you an example. The rat hunters. Uh, yeah. This is what turned me off about them. They're worse than the rats. Big time. They do shows that attacking people, uh, uh, saying horrible shit about people. Um, and they're rats they, themselves, too, a lot of them. When Chicago Muscle came along, they were all up his ass, and they're supposed yeah. to be rat hunters, but they all thought he was real. Yep. Yeah, I always knew that guy was fake. I don't believe most of these people who never show their face. I just don't believe them. No. Don't. Lee, so let me ask you a quick question. Do you believe FBS now when he said that he was speaking to Danny Trio and all the stuff that you said, no, nah, no, nah, you're not speaking to no, Danny I always, I always believe him. You did believe him? Yeah. I mean, what is Lee supposed to say back then? He, yeah, that's right. No, no, no. I, I just wanted to bring it out that, you know, that that you really didn't believe him, but you gotta ha you gotta make a good show, Lee. I give you that. This no, is entertainment. Listen, listen, here's what it comes down to: we learn by <laughs> our mistakes, and we grow by our mistakes. If we don't grow by our mistakes and 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 try not to repeat them again, uh, then we're stupid, you know. And Danny Trio was a uh, real eye awakening. Let's put it that way. So, Lee, then let me ask you a question. And like I said, I just want to play devil's advocate. I, I don't never, care what you ask me. I don't want to disre I don't disrespect anyone. But if you're saying that you learn from your mistakes, how many times are you going to learn, bro? <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That's how many a good times, question. Wait, and how many times does any content maker on here? Always, we're always, all content makers here continuously make mistakes. For example, that's, a, that's a cop out, man. Come on. No, it's not a cop out. You do. Come on. How many? I didn't make as many yeah, mistakes yeah, as you. I never flip flop. You, you were you were loving. I used to argue with you and tell you what a scumbag pizza was, and you used to love on him. At the time, yeah, I was trying to be nice to the guy and forgive him, and, and we were cool, you know. And he wasn't trash enough. You know. You know. I, that, I tried. That's Gunsmoke's fault. That's I why gave pizza a chance. Smoke. Yeah. Fuck because me. He, yeah. he has a pure heart gun smoke. And he the same thing with you, Lee. What you call it? He 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 loves you. And then when you had to fall out with everybody, you turned on him like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, but we turned on each other. No, no, you turned oh, on him so first, he, Lee. Come on. Well, listen, here's, here's what it comes you down to. You heard him a little bit, well, Lee. Listen, listen, here's, here's what it comes down to. It ain't gonna happen again. I'm just gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna do my show with my partner. And put up the best quality I can put up. Well, you're That's doing right. good so far. I'll give you that. Look, you had, yeah, you had a James, James is James has been a blessing because yeah. he's probably you know he's the most stand up guy and he's real serious about what he's doing and that's a good thing. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll tell you what. YouTube has the most degenerate, disgusting behavior I've ever seen in my life. Without a doubt, it, it's I never knew this shit existed until I started seeing these lives. It really is. People show the real scum they are when they're on here and they can hide. It, it's 
It's disturbing. Yeah. And, and it's like people will talk shit, but you know, uh, you know, all these guys that talk shit and and, and talk shit about me, like you know, uh, a couple faceless trolls. They don't have no balls to get up when when FBS drops the link and debate them. That's true. You know, it, it, you know that's what where you separate the guys that have balls and the guys that don't. Yep. Yeah. Well, and, none and of, none of, anybody that's a trolley, you know, whether you invite them on, whether anybody, Angel, whoever, if any of you content creators, when you invite these trolls on that make the comments, ninety nine percent of them are not going to grab the link because. They don't want to show themselves, not even beyond an avatar. Well, that that's the thing, too. Like, that's part of who they are. They, they can't confront people in real life or on here. They just like to hide and talk shit and start controversy. That's their whole exactly. thing. Exactly. Stirring up controversy, but they won't confront anybody. No. No. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. I mean. E e even NB. She would never go up there with a FBS, and she's attacked them more than anybody. Absolutely not. Yeah, that never happened. You know I'm about 10 minutes away from the NB. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry getting... to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hear her help, the hoofs come down the uh, yeah. road sometimes. All the grass is dead around you. You got dead grass. Yeah, and lots of mounds of shit. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's not. It's very disturbing. There's some dark shit going on that yeah. we don't know about. And that's what makes me not want to be on here because... There's some disturbing, dark shit that goes on with those people, man. Well, listen, you have a community of people based out of one area of the country, and uh, that I'll talk about down the line. Um, but there's a lot of things that are going on here you can't believe, because these are you have people doing coordinated attacks, uh, horrible, vicious attacks on people. And when they want to take them out, they'll do what they got to do to take them out. Uh, yeah. You know, some of us can take it. Other, a lot of people think about how many people are gone that were here from yeah, Congress, yeah. and you know they come in here. They come, you know, real fly hard. by nights. Yeah, you know, and they come in hard and heavy. You know, I'm going to yeah. do this, and I'm tougher than Flash. you. Tougher than you. Next thing you know, they're back. In Chica prison. champagne. Well, I don't yeah. think. I'm sorry, Mr. HP. I just, I just want to ask yeah. Lee one quick question. Lee, I'm going to address the elephant in the room, and please don't get mad at me. I was about to ask him. Yeah, yeah go if ahead. It's any, if it's any questions that have to do with, I'm not going to answer no questions where I'm going to start a controversy on it. No, uh, no, no, no controversy. I just want to know, you know, because we, we, we're talking about stuff and we're talking honestly, and I want to like you again. I really do, Lee. And me, I don't matter. I know I don't matter. I'm just one person. But I, I'll tell you something. I did watch your show a lot, and I still will still will view it. Uh, you know, I, I, I'll give you that straight up. You do have some good content, and you do make me laugh. Uh, I want to know, as being a friend of Pete, why you had to come out and dox him. I didn't dox him. That information was out, and I, I found it online and put it out. Why? Because I was really pissed at Pete. I apologized to Pete for that. It was a bad move on my part. Look, the only listen, time I ever did anything like that. That's what I wanted to get. I just wanted, not that I'm Pete. I just wanted to at least get an apology for that. Because that I, was I wrong. I don't care. Because you know what? When it comes down to it, bro, any of us who are on here that are getting involved in shit, you got to expect that's going to be put up. You yep. know, not, no, not that, it, you know, did it bother me at the time? Yeah, but I really don't care. Because if you're going to get in the mix, and you're going to show your face on here. It's going to happen, and uh, it is what it is. Like, I really, I, I you know, don't. A, a lot of times people do things on here that they don't want to do, but they do it anyway. You know, yeah. it's, like, it's like when you get into a battle and you're like, oh, that mother, that ever did that to me, I'm going to hit him back with this. You don't care. And then a couple of days later, you're thinking <laughs> about it. Why did I do that? You know, it's like, uh, happens all the time. Yeah. No, yeah. I, but I, but Lee, I have to give you so far, so far. You've been a man about things. I think you've been pretty honest. And, you know, you, 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 you're starting to grow on me a little bit, like, her, like, a, like a rash. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. <laughs> oh, um, here we go. Go, Lee. No, no, no. I want to make it perfectly clear. Angel Gotti and I did not have a fight. We just decided to go our ways because we had disagreements with certain people on certain shows. And she can have her show and do what she wants on her show. I could do have my show and do what I want on my show. No one should be able to tell me. No one should be able to tell Angel. That's why. There was no fighting, no go F yourself. 
We just decided that she's going in that direction. I'm going in this direction. End of story. So since, since I'm on the Lee Cole interview, thank you for your interview <laughs> today, Lee. <laughs> and I'm going to be, and I'm not, I'm not going to put you in a controversial spot. You keep saying that. Just ask the question. You keep saying, I'm not going to put you there. I'm not going to. Hey, Lee, be respectful. Be respectful. I am. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to format my thoughts to uh, not cause controversy. So that's why it's taken me a little while. Uh, the question, the question I gotta ask it though, is that what you said, what you said is in the past, which I know now you changed your mind again, which was that I'll, I'll never format rats. What makes you uh, want to interview them now? What did you because, realize? Um, you, okay, because I took uh, James became my partner, and he said to me, Lee. <laughs> If I'm going to be your partner, we have to interview everybody. That's true. That and, true. and that's that. You know, I had a choice. Uh, have a partner and respect what he wants to do or keep where I was, keep, you know. And, and, and on top of that, when I seen that the people that uh, what really, really got underneath my skin is when I seen that the people that talk about being anti-rat are horrible to people that aren't rats. You know, they'll say, oh, I hate the rats and stuff. But then they'll do shows on you and start calling you names, making fun of the way you look. And like, and I'm saying to myself, so you hate rats, but it's okay to get, go against, you know, to attack people that aren't rats? Yeah. Uh, and then you got like guys, not, not for nothing, but some of the people that are in some of these shows, like the Lesso guy and all these guys, they're fake people with fake voices. 100% those are the guys that were doing the shows on me. And I'm talking right now, so they have a reason to do more shows. Because without people like me, they cannot, they have no shows to do. They they, they want to attack people. They have no desire. They, they, they talk about, oh, I hate rats, I hate rats. Yes. God damn it. Now, mess, He's always say. driving around. We're going to ask you a tough question soon, Lee. Get prepared. Uh, 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 an uncomfortable question. If I'd I don't say. want to answer. I'm just not going to answer. God damn it! Come on, Lee. Just you know, no, I'm going to be honest with you. You guys, so you can ask me any question you want. If I don't want to answer it, I'm not going to answer it. Lee, Lee, when you when you found out about um, Danny, did you want to look more into that? Since uh... well, here's what happened with Danny. When that happened with Danny, like the last two weeks, I said to Danny. Danny kept. T I said, Danny. Danny said, Lee. I have my prison record and I'll bring it out and I'm going to show it to the guys. I'm going to slam it down and say, here it is. So I said to him, I said, Danny, can you give me your prison record now? And then he kept stalling and stalling. And at that moment, me and him started arguing about it. And then one day he just disappeared. Hmm. Matter of fact, he, what he did is he went back to uh, Facebook and said, uh, he basically said, I'm on a Lee Cole show no more. That's all he said. He didn't even say, hey, Lee, I'm leaving. And I, I stood behind him through all that, you know. Yeah. But, but, you know, he, he decided that he was going to run. So that was it. That's the last time I ever spoke to him. I wonder what other states he was in. Remember his wife said that he was all around? No, he was in New York. He was also worked in the glass company and stuff, but he's just not telling the truth. No, uh, no, she mentioned, she mentioned he was in other states, like Georgia. She yeah. said he was, he was doing shit in other states. Yeah, yeah, he, you know, he was a con man. He, no, he was worse than a con man. He was like, he lied for no reason. You know, the guy's life is pretty interesting. And this is what happens with a lot of these guys on here. They got interest in lies, but they want to make it even better. They want to, like, not even better. It's like, you know, it's you like they're drug, Lee. Yeah, they it's like more and more and more. And they'll come on here and they'll say things that people are going to expose. You got, you know, there's certain people are here that are very good at exposing people, and, and and that's all there is to it. So if you come on here and do that, be prepared to get hit. She. The best you thing could be I a ever, whole different person on YouTube. The best thing I ever did was come on here with my full name. You know, because then you know everybody digs, they dig it out, and the story. But these right. guys, Lee, are, Lee Cole one 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 one, as Tony Pizza would say. <laughs> one, 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 one. 
Hey, I think Tony Pizza's here. He's down. He's down. Hey, Pizza, you're here, right? He's probably watching. Who's talking? The fake DJ? There yeah. he goes. There's my friend Pizza. <laughs> I can't do his voice too long. It hurts my fucking throat. <laughs> DJ, D- DJ no up. job. Yeah, you know, think about it. When Danny came out, why didn't Danny just say, "Look, I did eight years in prison for burglary, and 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 uh, I worked down in the uh, in the glass section of uh, Coney Island. I, I knew some guys that knew me." End of story. It, the know, guy, that- well, Danny obviously has some issues because if you look at his past and the stuff he was doing, he's a quirky guy. You know what I mean? Like he he didn't want people to know that he was breaking into people's houses. You know, trying on clothes or doing whatever he was doing. Yeah, but actually what he was doing, he was he was going into how he robbed high end mansions. He didn't rob just houses. Uh, and then he would put on their clothes and dress up and leave. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't put on no one's underwear and shit like that. You know, that, that was the that, that was the funny shit that was thrown in there. You know, uh-huh. there's no there's no newspaper articles he was stealing women's underwear. Yeah, believe uh, he's dressing up in people's clothes. There's yeah, something seriously underwear. wrong. Well, there's still some can't put it past wearing no, without, without a doubt, but can you imagine? You know, <laughs> he ran a washing <laughs> cycle. Answer, washing I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, the wash and wear band. He was taking bird baths in somebody's sink. I James mean, Proctor is in the chat. James, yeah. good to have you here. Why don't you jump on with us? Some real mob talk, dude. I James, got James, for you, though, Lee. James is checking on Lee, making sure he don't say anything wrong. Yeah, Lee, yeah. don't <laughs> say nothing. <laughs> yeah, James is going to start yelling at me like Danny, right? <laughs> what, what, what was your li, listen, guys? What was your favorite moment of something Lee Cole said to somebody? Because there's some really good clips out there. Oh, oh man, there's the, the one where he's on with uh, FBS and Jeff Nadu calls him up to yell at him, and he goes, "Fuck you, little man!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit's so fucking classic. We, we, the people that have lasted on here for two years have had are. A lot of funny moments when you think about it. Oh yeah. my God. We've had a lot of bad moments and we've yeah. had a lot of funny moments. I would right. I agree with uh Slug said FBS, we talked about this. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny too. That but you know what? That 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 whole thing I saw right through that with that little fuck. I don't even want to talk about it, but what he was trying to do right there. He was really trying to he was trying to get somebody in a corner and, and, and start <laughs> trouble. You know? Definitely. Well what what really got me about Danny more than anything is I would say Dan, Danny would swear to me nothing was true. And I would say, okay, Danny, why don't you just come on and say something? Then he would come on and attack people viciously. And then I would say, why did you come on and attack someone that vicious if you knew it was true? Yeah. I mean, that just makes people look harder. Exactly. Yeah, what, about, okay. what about some of the yeah. stories that he came out with, like Johnny, like getting beat up in the club? That was his thing, right? That came from him? Uh, actually, No, actually, that's been confirmed, dude. Oh, really? That was By Gene Barillo himself. Really? Oh. I called, that what? I called Gene Barillo up and asked him if G, if he had a, a club fight. And Gene Barillo said, yes. Shit. Okay. So, you, you know, I put it up and people say, hey, Lee, why don't you take that down? Because it has 50,000 views. Why would I take it down? Well, yeah, yeah. But I thought but that- the day before him, the day before we did that, um, John A. Light with uh, that creepy cop did a video saying that Danny and I go to McDonald's and kidnap children. Yeah, I saw that. So he did that, and he did that on his show. And then he also called me a child molester on his show a couple days before that. So if you're going to strike somebody with 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 those terms that you know are, is bullshit and lies, expect mm-hmm. to get hit back. And that's what we did. We hit him back. But Lee, did he send you a cookie puss after the apologize? <laughs> Yeah, he's a, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's different, John A. Like, I, mean, I don't even want to deal with him, you know. Yeah, no, I hear you. Let him, let him do his own stuff. He seems like he's been out of it. He hasn't been doing any any of his old stuff. Uh, no, one thing, one thing I can tell you is that I spoke to somebody that that knew him from the streets, and they said he was a tough guy on the streets. Without That's a doubt, definitely. he was definitely a tough guy. But no one ever said he wasn't. Right? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying. He definitely was a tough guy on the streets. That's the one thing you can't take away from him. Everything else is probably bullshit. Well, he he blows things, you know, he uh, embellishes things for sure. Yeah. 
It's like a guy who has a one-on-one -on -one fight saying, I fought off 10 guys. Okay. Oh, let's read what JC has to say. Lee and Danny, shame, shamefully, and JC, I know you're Alan Tello, by the way. Uh, <laughs> oh my Lee and Danny shamefully <laughs> attacked Francis and his wife together. Lee, you should have never slammed. Let me tell you something. That was a, Michael that was Francis, a bad thing. Michael Francis, uh, those things, those calls that we had and stuff were actually his mistresses. Okay, dude. So Michael Francis. Yeah, but that's the guy's sex life. I, I I remember telling you that, like, yo, bro, this is not a good show, man. I think we were cool at that time. I told you, bro, this is not a good look. Yeah. Hey, listen, we all make mistakes on shows. We all do shows that we shouldn't do. There's nobody here that doesn't. Yeah, that's the thing on here, man. You could sometimes you could be impulsive and make a mistake, and they, that's it. It's it's there forever. Lee, so let me ask you a question. You said for a hundred percent that was Gene Barella that gave you that story. With what? With uh, with a like uh, getting into that fight. fight. No, no, he didn't give me the story. I called him up and asked him if it was true. But this is after you called his PO, though. I never called Gene's PO. Well, he Ever. thought you did. He thought you of did. Of course he did. He was mad at me. Ever. So, so in four months, when he gets out, Lee, hopefully you'll still be the same guy. When we ask him that. He's going to say yes? Who the hell knows? It's not true. It doesn't matter what he says. Do you understand that? I yeah, know I it's not true. I don't think James. I don't think Gene's going to back down with that. I think he's still going to believe it. No, he doesn't believe it. He knows it's not true. He came on here. When Gene's mad, he'll say what he has to say. That's how Gene fights. He fights dirty. Who knows? Maybe Gene will come out a lot more mature sometime and, and, and be a different guy. Gene is still with the same girl. That got him into all this trouble. When he gets out, he's going to be with the same girl again. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Women will get you in trouble, man. When you're when you're in a situation with, like his, you don't need another woman who's going to have all this drama and all you know all this crazy shit because you're going to get involved in it and it's going to fuck your whole life up. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Not good. Not good. Hey, Lee. Uh, my friend has been asking the whole time here. Can you answer his question, please? Respectfully, in a respectful way. Is another fat bald Italian your friend? Well, yeah, he's a good guy. He comes in here, he supports the channel, he's a member. Friend, okay. Huh? You, keep, you keep putting his shit up continuously. You're up here asking me questions. You, you want to know if John Jr.'s a rat? John Jr. said that he did a 302. End of story. Whoever says otherwise, even Angel has said that he did a 302. Yeah, but I think she says he's not a rat for it. That's up to, that's that's her, that, that's uh, her, her, her brother. Yeah. No, so I she said it. that. So, you know, but John Jr. himself says he did a 302. So but what's your opinion on that? He did a 302. That's my opinion. Listen, one thing about that that family, which I totally understand, they all stick up for each other. They all got each other's backs. And I, I get that. I get that. You know, I do. Yeah. I would I would for my, my brother. Oh, of course. That's her brother. Yeah. You know, that's, uh, you know. Slug has a question for Lee. Lee, do you feel like NB is on the ropes? I do. Do I feel like she's on the ropes? I don't think she cares. <laughs> she's, not, she's an emotionless person. She, she has no emotional tie to anybody. You don't think she's a little worried, though, if Angel finds out that she made those memes? and Then she'll just disappear. Yeah, but she was real worried that time she thought... Uh... Vinnie Green was a real gangster or something. Was that was that it? She got really scared when with no. somebody. Oh, she wasn't scared, dude. That's for entertainment. Up, look up borderline personality. And then if she was her. scared, she would have never came back here. And 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 she's back again, and she's she's at it. So if she was scared, she wouldn't be doing that. And uh, you have to understand that she's been in these communities doing this for years. Yeah, hundred percent. Right? You know. So uh, this is this is who she is. So she, uh, she's not scared at all. Lee, I you got a, I, I got a funny question for you now. We'll we'll we'll, we'll change it up, Lee. Which which clip of gun smokes of you? <laughs> That's a good question. You want two questions in one, sir? I'm directing this to Mr. Cole. The number one that the clip that annoys you the most, and the one that makes you laugh the most. None of his clips annoy me, to be honest with you, uh, because he, he is who he is. You know, when I was going at him, he decided to hit me back with clips. Right. 
you know, that's just part of the game. You go at somebody, they're gonna come back at you. Yeah. Um, I have no problem. He does some funny stuff, like the butter skin stuff, and <laughs> the way he puts that. You know, the way he just got that going, or when he had my fingers shot off my hand, that was hilarious. That was your favorite. Yeah, because it hurt. <laughs> Even though it wasn't happening, it's like you're thinking about your hand. Can you picture your fingers getting blown off with a gun? I remember you telling me that too when I when I first put it out. Like I, it hurts, dude. My hand still hurts. You sick bastard. But none of them that you ever saw, and none of the clips ever made you like get really mad. Dude, I know stupid. one, Lee. No, get- hon- honestly. I've been mad, real mad at people, but not ever really that mad at uh, at uh, Gunsmoke, maybe FBS, or maybe uh, Tony or uh, SoFlo. Right. But, um, because uh, they'll take it to another level. Um, whereas Gunsmoke, no, because, you know. I was just breaking his balls, really. Even the shit I did wasn't malicious, and I think he knows that. So Lee, would, would you laugh along with us with the clip of you going to the bathroom? No. Why would oh, that you? was FPS. <laughs> that was FPS. Yeah, I don't have that, that clip. Good clip, Lee. I'm, I'm no, I'm not on here to be entertained. About it. If you want to do that when I leave, you're fine. Fu- it's, it's fine. Hey, oh, what, no, I'm not what? saying now. I'm saying when we played that clip. Would you agree that? So there's so fun? many, dude. There's been so many clips played. Yeah. There's been so many. I'm a 62 year old man. That's what I am. And God bless you, Lee. Yeah. And uh, it, it's not hard to make fun of anybody on here. Anybody can be made fun of unless you're good looking like uh, Mustache Pete. Uh, but besides that, any of, any, any of us have our uh, weaknesses. He is a handsome motherfucker, huh, Lee? Yeah, I know. So, you know, <laughs> what, what can you say about that? About him? But, you know, <laughs> there's, you know, me and uh, FBS get made fun of. Angel gets made fun of. I mean... All the time. Like, come on, we have videos put out on us. We have shorts put out on us. Yeah. It's, a, it's a continuous thing. We, if you're not ready to come in here and be abused, what the fuck are you doing here? Carmine S. says, Lee Cole, did you paint the go- goatee? It looks like you just got eating chocolate fudge. Done eating chocolate fudge. No, actually, I woke up this morning and grew back in like that. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, there's plenty to make fun of me, but li- but when it comes down to it, you got to say Lee does have a fucking great sense of humor. He, yes. Even back in the day when I would put stuff in his chat, fucking busting his balls, he put it up and laugh about it. You know what I mean? So, got to give him that. And and I could tell, bro, you are you are looking healthier. You definitely. Uh, I've lost I've lost fifty pounds now, and since uh, since April fifth. God, that's awesome. Man. That's and good. I, Keep up the good great. work, Lee. I feel great. Uh, I just had my bloods done. They're they're all normal uh, for the first time in a long time. I have had no sugar. So basically, for people that hate my guts, it looks like I'm going to be around a lot longer. Hey, and Lee, you you definitely don't have to worry because only the good die young. So you'll be here till <laughs> the night before. <laughs> yeah, but see, but but see, people. But this is what I'm talking about. Like people will say things about people like me or FBS or Angel and make us into the worst humans going, but that's not who we are. It's easy. No, there's a Lee on it, an on-air Lee and an off-air Lee. And 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 the off-air Lee has made a lot of mistakes. You know, it's obvious. All you got to do is look at my criminal record or whatever. I make lots of mistakes, but we all do. That's part of life. It's true. If you dissect anybody's life on here, you can make it look like they're a bad person for sure. Yeah. Like people will say, Lee's not speaking to one of his sons. I'm, and I'm, I'm like, so show me a father that's not speaking to one of his children. You know, it happens in life, I guess. Ha- it happens. It does time. happen. It does yeah. happen with your kids. There's good times. There's bad times. Your ups in your moment. You have your ups right. and downs with your children. You can go five years without talking to your child. The next thing you know, they call you on the phone. You're talking to. I've my, seen that before, Lee. I'll give I'll give you that. Every my night, t- every night, every night I go and I, I I chat with my four sisters every night on the phone. We have a chat that we go into every night. Our days are over. We chat every night, and we're very close. But have I had some moments with them? Yeah. Come on, look at me. I've done you know I've done some stupid shit that they uh, were pissed at. But that that's one thing I don't like about. YouTube is that people try to dissect someone's life and their family life and the person. I don't fucking like that shit. I, I don't care who they are. I don't like doing it, man. 
It's not for me. It's one thing I don't like about this thing. It's you know? it's hard. It's horrible. You know, it, 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 because that, but some people just get angry very easily, and the best thing to do is just try not to answer it. Yeah, uh, but you, you got to look at it like this too, Pete. You know, when not that anybody on here is a star, but they're a YouTube figure, let's say. And, you know, look, look at the stars. Look at Johnny Depp. Look at all these stars. The, every part of their life is scrutinized. And, you know, that's just like like you guys said. Yeah. You come on YouTube, you got to be prepared for it. Not that it's great, but it's a necessary evil. But you know? people do it on here to try to hurt somebody. Yeah. And I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I'm not an eye for an eye kind of guy. If somebody came on here today and put pictures of my kids up, I wouldn't go put pictures of their kids up because their kids are still innocent. They have nothing yeah. to do with that. Time I, I don't like that shit. Like, I agree with that 100%. Too, nah, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm very old-fashioned when it comes to that shit. I don't talk about anybody's family. I don't like it. Don't. No, I, 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 it's like the first time I came on here with – uh, a couple, about two weeks ago when I was talking to Gunsmoke and I got done I said to Gunsmoke you know they're coming after me tonight coming on your show yeah. and they sure did Oh yeah. And they'll, come, they'll come after me for being on here right now but you know what they have no effect on my show they have no effect on anything no dude they if you don't pay attention to them they don't exist if you don't yeah, it's like, yeah it's like uh, one of these morons goes oh Lee's up against it now it's like what are you talking about, bitch? I just did 7,000 views. I averaged 7,000 views a day. How many do you fucking average? <laughs> you know, that's what it comes down to. It's all about the numbers. It yeah. is? No, Lee. It's, I'm a, it's, it's like FBS says. I love numbers and uh, views. Uh, numbers and he loves money. I could never be on here. It takes way too much time and effort. It really it does. It takes too much energy out of you, dude. Why do you think I don't do lives? Yeah. You're I got I got to give it to you guys because you you FBS gun smoke, you know, like Pete said, I I agree a thousand percent. You got to be willing to give everything in your life, and you know it, it really is. Even for somebody doing it as a hobby, let's say it's it's a full time job. It turns into. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. Listen, I I know people are gonna hate me for saying this, but I'm even gonna say it. Uh -oh. Even the, the Cane Shades novellas, they're kind of entertaining. I'm not oh, gonna... Jesus. What the fuck? What have you been drinking, man? <laughs> because, no, he, are you drinking Listen. some heavy vodka? <laughs> but if you watch him, he puts old clips of like mob tube stuff in there, and it's actually kind of interesting. I'm not saying the whole thing that he's trying to put across, but. Yeah, yeah, I get it. it, it you know, it, it, they're kind of funny to watch, you know? They but, already. Pete, did you watch it six or seven times, or was it five and six? How many times did you watch it, Pete? Maybe two, three, four times. I don't know. <laughs> so pretty you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta admit that some of the people that you may not like do put up funny stuff. Yeah, bro, absolutely. Like Everybody, pizza. A lot yeah. of those, a lot of people, a lot of people. But, yeah. but and I said somebody said it before when MRE did the thing with Tony Pizza. He, I mean, that's a that was a good one because he really made that guy look like a fool. When he brought him on, he quite, yeah, he did. He, he yeah. buried him. Yeah. But in the same breath, Lee, you got to admit some people on here, uh, maybe that make novellas, are dumb as they rock. <laughs> yeah, but, but but see, that's unfair. You're saying he's dumb, but yet he's he's smart enough to put together novellas. Well, well, that's that Lee, but that no, 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 that's like, that's like an idiot savant. They're good at one thing. Yeah, but see, that's one of those things, again, we, we, we call people stupid, and we really, when they're not stupid. Okay, I mean, how, I, how smart do you have to be to take somebody right. else's uh, fucking uh, product and uh, you know chop it up? It's not that but hard. I don't well, know. You, do it in a graceful I way. Don't, I don't know. I don't know. Gunsmoke, tell me. No, shut up. I did it in a graceful <laughs> way. I put artwork into it. I did little skits. I but fucking it's what did. You, but it's what you do, man. It's it's what yeah. you do. It's 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 not easy to do. <laughs> Diversity training with MRE. He's the best. You shouldn't have unblocked Lee's beard dye. <laughs> oh, uh, diversity! I just want to let you know, uh, I unblocked everybody when I do my next live. Everybody's unblocked, so anybody wants to come in and call me names, they can do so. You'll be blocked, but you can come in and call me names. Oh, you're trying to copy me now? All right. No, no it's, it's, it's that time of year. At least once a year, we should unblock everybody. 
hey, it's to my two year anniversary today. Two years yeah. I've been on here. Why not? Happy yeah. anniversary, Lee. Yeah, happy anniversary. I didn't say that. And you yeah. guys wonder why I dyed my beard? God, oh, it's pure white now because of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, no. you don't, you, Lee, you don't look a day over forty. Yeah. Okay. You can't. You can't take this shit on here too seriously. If you do. It'll really stress you the fuck out. Like, you can't. You got to look at it for what it is. Fuck That's you. why I give respect to anybody that comes on here and does these live shows continuously because they have no idea what it does to you physically. They have no idea. Oh, yeah. I mean, physically, it wipes you out where, like, you feel like you – sometimes you'll do one of these shows and afterwards you'll feel like you're about to have a heart attack or uh, – I don't know about that, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not, you're a young guy. You're a young guy. No, you're in good health. I'm talking about guys that are older. They might have health conditions and they do these shows. It takes a lot out of you. Lee, yeah. was that was one of the shows that you felt like you were going to have a heart attack uh, was when uh, Mr. Francis was going to come bring you a cup of coffee. Mr. Oh. Francis. The, the no, you know coffee no, no, here. Any, I, listen, people have threatened to bring me, come to my house and stuff. But here's the reality. If you come to my house, I'm going to shoot you through the door. Uh, you have too many <laughs> rights out there. Yeah, it, it's just a fact. You know, that's what's going to happen. Because if you, if you come out of your way to here, I will win. You went to you went to uh, attack a senior citizen at his house. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. And you were talking, but the reality is, everybody that ever said that they were going to come to my house, the one that bothered me the most was... Uh, uh, Damien Trites. You know why? Because Damien, as you know, used to fight. Right? He's a nut job. Yeah, yeah, what I was man. thinking about is Damien walking up to me when I'm walking outside and hit me with one of those just engaging leg kicks. <laughs> you, know, where, you, know, the, you know the calf kicks? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because there's nothing worse than a fucking hard calf kick. I can picture him doing it too. And he goes, oh my God. And he hit the floor. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, there's certain people that if they tell you they're coming after you, you really got to say, well, I hope he doesn't come after me. Yeah. And, they, and Damien Trites was one of those people that I said, I hope he doesn't really come after me. What are yeah, you going to do? What are you going to do against him if you if you, if you see he, something grab you? It's not like he's going to fight back. Damien yeah, was gun. punching the head too many times. Yeah, but he still knows how to choke you out and kill you. And oh, no, yeah. I'm just saying the guy was a nut. Yeah. That's well, the guy you got to shoot through the door, Lee. <laughs> Well, you know, if somebody takes a picture of, sends you a picture of your house, you got to take it a little bit serious. He did. Right. He sent me a picture of my house and said, I know where you live. <laughs> what do you think about that, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> that was in the very beginning. That was. That was. First, that was the early days. That was yeah. the first time it happened. It was yeah. Like, uh, it, it was like, holy shit. I mean, you know, and he was really mad. So, you know, you didn't know. At that time, you didn't know people. And that's what's going to happen sooner or later if someone's going to jump on jump on a plane and go do something to somebody. It will, or, or, yeah, somebody's going to run into somebody, you know, and, and do something. But I, I hope that doesn't happen because then it takes to a whole other level. But people do anyway when they try to get people's insurance canceled or do stuff with, you know, CPS. Like, that to me is yeah, just bullshit, sick. man. I, you know, I, I can't believe people waste time, their own time to do that. That's when you know they have problems, you know? Well, it's like when you, you've heard stories about people sh showing up at people's houses. You don't know who the hell's house. You might show up at someone's house that that person may not be there, but his brother who just got out of prison is there. Yeah. Yep. Or you, you could do drive to somebody's fucking house unless you're really serious about something. But I can't see someone risking their whole life and their freedom to do some shit like that over something somebody said on YouTube. Once yeah, but you got pill heads out here, you know, dope addicts that are stupid and dopey. I don't once know. you go to someone's house, that person in that house has the right to kill you Absolutely. and get away with it. If they break in, though. No, you no, can't, no. You can't go no, outside no, no. and just shoot I'm somebody because they came to your house. Let me tell you something, Gunsmoke. I live here in Texas. Well, Texas if is different, yeah. My, if someone came to my house and they didn't even break in, but they're outside and say, I took care of them. And then all of a sudden, uh, I get arrested. And I could show that they were on YouTube. They were threatening to come to my house and they actually showed up. No yeah. jury's going to convict you. You no still have to go. You, you still have to go to trial. I don't even want to go to fucking trial. You know. Yeah, they won't even. They won't even. They won't even bring up charges in certain states. In certain yeah, states, pretty you, much. You know, if you threaten somebody, if you go from one part of the country to another to hurt somebody, you're fair game. Yeah. Well, Tony, Tony Pizza is going dark, you know, guys. So you better watch out. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's been making the threats. Guy, you don't have to. 
fucking out. <laughs> if somebody, I hope, it, I hope it never happens, you know. But if it does, you know, uh, it's gonna be a problem for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, like Frank just said, if if someone did attack me, you know, my audience would triple. <laughs> if I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> But it's going to happen. We already hear about this stuff on YouTube. How many times have we heard about uh, there's many stories out there on YouTube where people show up and kill people. Uh, one guy had his father killed. One one woman had her father killed uh, because yeah. some guy showed up. And this was recent. That was recent, yeah. A couple weeks there, ago. There's, right? there's some other communities that do some crazy shit. Somebody popped up in my feed and they went to this guy's job with like uh, uh it was like a one of those, those fucking what are they called the horns or what? The Malukia? And they were blasting his, his family, and the guy got fired. They recorded the whole thing. Well, Falconetti has a good comment, which is true. Anger and boredom can make people do the most stupid things and dangerous things, no matter what the cost. Oh, you might say you might say something to a guy whose wife just left him for another man. You know, here we go. We're and he's just in a bad mood. You know, you catch somebody on the in, in the wrong day in the wrong mood. You never know. Yeah. What's you don't know what people are going through. Hey, yeah. Look, it happened to you. Uh, perfect example, Gunsmoke. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You didn't know what was going to happen. You could have been a crazy bastard and run outside and and yeah. dealt with it. You yeah. don't know what's going to happen. No. You don't. And somebody somebody said, yeah, well, here in Texas, half the old ladies got purses with 357 Magnums in them. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And come to find out, somebody did come here with a gun, you know. He did have a gun. So it would have been a problem outside, you know. It would have been. For what? For some fucking troll that lied? For some beef that he made up in his own mind that I didn't even know? I mean, fucking sick shit. That's, that's what's crazy about this internet, you know. And, that's, and when you live close to one another too, that's when something can really break out. Yeah, yeah. That's why a lot of these uh, that's why a lot of these people talk shit because they live in West Bumblefuck. Are they live in, are they live in South Southwest Texas? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so you know, Texas, like, Arkansas, Florida. Yeah, into that tough guys. God damn it. Especially if you don't show who you are and you're on here talking, you know, all this crap. I hate rats. I hate rats. And you don't show your face and you go after people and you attack them. Those are the biggest clowns. Yeah. Yeah, Lee would have handled business if Joe went to Lee's house with his fingerless gloves. He would have shot those gloves off. He can't knock his teeth out because he has none. That too, yeah. He okay. couldn't shoot his toes off either because he had yeah, to run. Right. <laughs> dance, dance. Dance, spider, dance. Come on, dude. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, See that gun smoke? You wound up with a good shot. I did. I did. It was a nice Damn, little party. Four too. hours. Yeah. Lee, but, he, but he had a good show going before you came on as well. Yeah, because, <laughs> of, because you're, you're good at it. Yeah. It depends on how you, you and Frank were up here. It was entertaining. It was a back and forth. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends you, who you put up here. There's certain people you can put up here and, you know, kill your they, show. They suck no matter what. Yeah. I feel you. And uh, come on, guys. How many people do you think would come up here and take questions after all the shit I've, I've, I've been involved with? Not many people would do it. Where's Polly, Lee? Show us Polly. We We're kind of giving you softball questions, too. I mean, fat bold no. Italian. I get him on here. He's going to destroy it. No, no, no. Don't, that, that guy's just a scumbag. You're just reading, oh, a, come troll's, on. You're just reading a troll's account. See, I've don't, never don't, seen him do no troll. Those are your trolls. He's a troll. Well, got trolls. You might see him as a troll. I see him different. Have you seen him? No, but I, I don't think he's phone? a troll. I've seen, I've seen his behavior. Have you talked to him on the phone? No. See, that's what I mean. Dude, these are the people that that are trolls. That's what they are. They're trolls. I, I usually, uh, I usually have are, a good judge of character on people. You got you, you could pass character on a guy that you don't know nothing about. Yeah, because I've seen him fucking talking here for the past fucking God knows how long. A fucking at least six months. So you think you know him because of the way he talks online? No, but I know what he's gonna say, what he's not gonna say. I don't know. God damn it! Stop digging my hole. You know what the <laughs> fuck I'm getting at? <laughs> 
Let's get no, to the real question. These, these before are the first we go on, wait, I got to interrupt, Lee. We all want to see Polly. The chat wants to see Polly. Polly's uh, sleeping right now in front of the You window. always say that. The dog you does nothing but sleep. We miss her, Lee. <laughs> Papa, come here, Papa. Yeah, see, the dog's awake. Well, he's going to jump on his back. Watch. I love when he used to sit on Lee's shoulder. Yeah, always. That was she's, his favorite spot. She's, she's by the window. When she's by the window, she's in her glory. Uh, oh, yeah? So yeah. she look out the window. Every, so every, everybody that lives here hates Polly. Why? That's why Lee. That's why Lee. You would never be homeless because we would support Polly. We would have let her walk the earth. I would, <laughs> I would never be homeless because I choose not to be homeless. No, it was a joke, Lee. I, I know. I'm just saying. You know. Uh, you choose so to be homeless. What we need to do is uh, prediction. Does Tony? Is Tony in his place the first week of June? He's gone. He's I don't know. I, he's I gone. He's out. I think he. I think he's staying there. He doesn't I want think to leave. He's just trying he's to crying. get more money. Yeah, he's crying. He doesn't want to leave there. He's happy there. I think I agree with the whole seasonal rental thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, June first, that fucking thing's going up. I, I, I think he's going to be on the road again. I think that's why he's trying to get cash. Okay. Somebody else is looking for cash too. Lee Cole's landlord. Where's my forty bucks, Lee? You got money for I, me. I wish I feared that. I wish yeah. that was true. Thank you, Lee Cole's landlord. Five fifty Canadian style. Thank you. Lee has a house in Canada. <laughs> or, or Lee Cole's landlord owns property in Canada. I don't know. God damn it! <laughs> I own property in Canada. You think I need this shit, gun smoke? You think I need this in my life? <laughs> Oh God! So come on, we we got Lee Cole for for a uh, for a little while. Any, couple more, any couple, other good couple more minutes. I got I got things to do. A couple more minutes. Get, get some good questions in because I'm. Uh... He has to go to the slaughterhouse. Come on. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. I went to the slaughterhouse last week and I got two ribeye steaks. That's some yard. And, uh, and dude, you you had to see when these things cooked. Oh my gosh! Nice. Hey Lee, is Lee is is SoFlo a prankster or a gangster? Who? Is SoFlo a gangster or a prankster? I'm not going to get into SoFlo. You don't want to get into that. <laughs> that's, that's, you, that's, that's, your, no, that's your battles, man. That ain't my battle. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> is Tony Pizza a gangster or a prankster, Lee? I, I, I'm scared of him. I ain't speaking about him. <laughs> talking to a real fucking man here. <laughs> now, we'll be in the muff genre. <laughs> when it starts to get slow, bring a pizza. No, yeah. Tony, you know we make fun of Tony uh, of Tony Pizza, but he gets he gets like a group of people that for some reason believe he's real and donate to him. I see. I don't, Lee. I disagree. I don't think they think he's real. I think that they they just love the entertainment and have money, and they love how he embarrasses himself, and they egg that on. Well, I think he, I, I he think has, they I, I think they wanted to see him get an apartment and I think they wanted to see what he was gonna do and they realized this guy's full of shit because he didn't do anything to help himself. Yeah. And they just dropped him. So I and I and I also think that they, they're looking forward to him getting his ass kicked. It's like <laughs> it's like it's like they're waiting for the train wreck to happen. Yeah, but yeah. he's the type of guy if you hit him, he's gonna fall down and get hurt. I mean, who, who could really hit him? I could. I could, yeah. A lot of people. You guys could. say that, but after you hit him and he hits the ground and starts crying, you're probably going to feel bad. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know. According, to, according to Tim, you know, he, uh, he was a badass in prison and uh, um, he, had a, he had an incident in prison and he beat the guy up. And, you know, Sammy had to say, leave him alone because he's with Tony Peck. You know, you know what I think. Like, like we said, we said this before. What, what really pissed off his viewers is that they're starting to see the lies more and more. Like they're watching these things. I'm going to use for me for an example. I did a ten dollar super chat. He came on, and now he goes that DJ Spaz paid two hundred and fifty dollars to to ask a question. Go ahead, pay back my debt. 
And they all know for a fact that I paid $10. So they know that he embellishes everything. So well, I think yeah, that's what's yeah. pushing people away. Well, I got to give you credit, DJ Kaz, for doing that because you got me a video that has 4,000 views. Thank you. you you're welcome, Lee. <laughs> so I even shouted you out in that video, by the way. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate yeah, that. Because it, it was a good question. And and Sammy, Sam, I think Sammy, Sammy's having fun with it. Sammy's like probably laughing inside. Listen, and I, I addressed it. I addressed it, you know, respectfully to him. I didn't call him what this names and this and that. I said, you know, respect. I'm respectfully asking you this question, and this is what the guy said. He's making you look like a fool, and I think the making you look like a fool part might have what might have made him answer that question. <laughs> And Sammy's unpredictable. The next time you ask him that question, you might say something totally different. I don't know the guy. You know? Yeah. Yeah, tell Sam, tell Sammy when Pizza said he had a multi-million dollar deal with him and Sammy backed out. You know? See what Sammy what do you says think that? of that stalker, Cali Lee, what do you really think of that stalker, Cali G? Cali G is my friend. Oh, All right. You know that that one I don't know what you do. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Listen, people have friends on here that I don't really agree with, and uh, but that's their friend. I respect that. Yeah, like Fat Bold Italian. Thank you for the dollar ninety nine, Fat Bold Italian. Yeah, but you don't know him. He's a troll. he's not a troll though. I know. Look, anybody in my chat who has a wrench, they're definitely not a troll. So trust me, I know enough about him at least to fucking know that he wouldn't uh, harass anybody, threaten anybody. He's just breaking yeah, your balls. Lee, you got to you got to remember also some of these people. You know, FBS and Gunsmoke speak to offline. Like I speak to FBS. No, I, you know, I, I understand that, but I said, I said, to Gunsmoke, have you ever spoke to him on the phone? Gunsmoke said, right. no. No, I, you're absolutely right. There are people that we speak to offline. See, once again, there's people that that I speak to offline that you know people say stuff about on here that just ain't true. Right. You know, there's a lot of you know. 50% of what you hear about me is true. 50% is BS. It's that simple. 75, 25, maybe? Yeah, okay, yeah. That's, that's more <laughs> no, not, no, no, 50, 50. I'm going to say 50, 50. Whatever oh. helps you sleep at night. No, <laughs> any, anything that's said about my living condition, 90% of that is BS. You know, that's fact. But, you know, it's like people will say what they want to say, and there's nothing you could do to change it. Yeah. Well, Fat Bold Italian and I did actually go to the same Sizzler, just at different times, but we went to the same location. <laughs> and so I guess that I guess that means you know him then. He's a neighborhood guy, so so you guys, may, you guys may have had a steak off the same cow. Probably, yeah. From yard, we had yard bird too. From yard to table, organic yard bird. You know about you, diversity yard bird. training with MRE. Another great comment, and Lee, it's just brush it off. Lee, you should ignore the negative comments the way you ignore your hotel bill. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> that deserves a laugh. Yeah, diversity is a, is a funny motherfucker, man. He's the funniest, man. But, you know, you know, you guys talk about that, but you should read the minutes of what the judge said about that. Were they funny? Oh, <laughs> the judge says, how the hell did you do that? He goes, I'm a judge. He goes, if I could drop my credit card, they're gonna run that sucker one, two, three. Yeah. You know? You're a smooth talker. What do you say? Like, don't run it, dude, for the next five hours at least. No, it, it just got it, it just got out of hand because what happened is they took too much money off the credit card the first time, the first couple of days I paid for. So I bitched about it and they took it off. And then I started saying to them, Oh, don't take it off. I don't want you to mess up my credit card. I did that for a month and they went with it. Jesus. Want Lee, one. one thing before I leave, because I got to get ready for work. Slug has a good question. Lee, how do you feel about MRE now that you decided to do your own thing? Good question. MRE does his thing. I do my thing. That's all. Okay. But what do you, what do you believe about MRE and what what don't you believe? I'll keep that to myself. Come on, Lee. Can you can you can can you at least agree that he's a neo Nazi? I will keep that to myself. Oh, God damn it, Lee! 
Can you agree? You guys ain't going to start no wars out here with me and somebody else. uh, Can you agree that he has a a grinder profile at least? I I don't look into that shit. He has a grinder. grinder. Is that true? I don't know. Fucking true. I don't know. (laughs) Probably true. Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, guys. Gunsmoke, thank you very much for having me on again. I feel like pizza saying goodbye again. This is the last time, Gunsmoke. So long, suckers. So long, say suckers. Sayonara. Lee, thank you. Thank you for answering the question and being a mensch. A mensch? That's, that's, that's Italian. Happy. That's Italian I, uh, for a good guy. Oh. I, I appreciate it. And uh, tell, Bill, I, tell Bill I said hi. I definitely will. I don't know if he'll... Knowing Billy, he, he, he will... Uh, Send we'll it, send, <laughs> say hello too, because Billy loves everybody. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, so that's yeah. uh, Bill is one of the guys out of the, all the people that I really went at. Bill is probably one of the guys I regretted going at because he really didn't deserve it. And nah, Lee, too nice of a guy. I appreciate yeah. that, yeah. and I will, uh, I will relay that message to him right when we get out of here, and uh, let him know. Okay. Well, you take care of yourself. You too, Lee, and uh, have a, go to the slaughterhouse. Have a good one today. <laughs> yeah, I, I got Celebrate. one in the fridge. I got one in the refrigerator, dude. Okay, I, nice. from the slaughterhouse. Jason, Mike, so that was you got it hundred percent. That's Yiddish, but I said that's Italian for a good guy. <laughs> Mensch is a Yiddish yeah. word. Yeah, it's out of the Yiddish. Mensch. <laughs> Guys, thank you. Have a great day, and if I don't speak to you, have a safe and great Memorial Day weekend to you Lee too, Cole. Bro. And gun smoke. You Thank you for it. everything, bro. All right, later. Later, bro. Yeah, well, I appreciate you bringing me on. Uh, you, you you did your job today, my man. I did, yeah. Thanks for coming on, giving me uh, content, dude. No, you would add content anyway. You had good people up there today. No, but it was a great conversation, you know. I'm glad the chat got to ask you questions, you know. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a rare occurrence. And I gave people shows for the day now. Now, 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 that they, now they should be happy. <laughs> yeah. They had, they, they had nothing figured out. Now they're happy. <laughs> Oh, I think Miss Can't Be Wrong wants to interview interview you uh, on Jesse's show. On Jesse Roth's show? Yeah. They're, they're doing a show together? Yeah, they do shows together now. Okay, well, you got to see, my, you gotta see my booking agent. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to schedule uh, Well, uh, Jesse Roth, you have my email. I mean, just send me an email. We'll work something out. All right, there you go. Okay. Okay, All people, right. take care. Uh, the people that don't like me, take care. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of them. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Gunsmoke. Thank you, brother. Have take a good care. weekend, all right? Yep. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Another show in the bucket. We unblocked a lot of trolls, and uh, well, all of them, all 500, and uh, none of them showed up, really. Only a couple, so that's good. Good shit. Uh... Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed the show. Hit the like button. It's never too late to donate. I'm not going to cry like Tony Pizza. If you want to, you know, do it. If you don't, I uh, still love you anyway. Uh, let me thank the people who did. Charlie, Alex, Carmine, Joey Frakes, Antonino, Isaac, DJ Kaz, Lee Cole's Landlord, another fat bold Italian. And then uh, a few people. I think, uh, oh, DJ Cat sent me a cash app, $5 for the appearance fee. Nice. He pays me to make an appearance. All right. Nice. Who's better than me, huh? YouTube Gold. Thank you, Bambi. Elsa. Yeah. Chris Capello. Salute. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Oh. And uh, diversity training, $11 Canadian style. Super sticker, Bay Bay. No more Bay Bay. There is no more Bay Bay. Lance 33, Don Smoke. Thanks for having me on. Sorry about all the audio issues. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. Lately, that's been happening. My chat's been fucked up, too. On my phone. I don't know. A lot of audio issues lately. I forgot to ask Lee about uh, what he thinks about the Guardian of the Night's uh, channel, his videos. But I guess he don't want to talk about that shit. 
That's a touchy subject for him. He pleads the fifth. Getting the grill ready for the weekend. Nice. Thank you for being here, Carmine. Falconetti, salute. Lance was getting massive reverb. Yeah, somebody had audio issues. I think it was BX. Slug says, Lee, did you listen to Casparosa playing the federal investigation? Yeah, he don't want to talk about that. Diversity says, Lee should be careful at the slaughterhouse. They might mistake him for cattle. <laughs> hey, have this one get loose. They're trying to rein him in and shit. He's missing the tag on his ear, too. What's What the fuck? Get him. They try to tackle Lee. That's funny. Diversity is a funny motherfucker, man. April, my sweetheart. A lot of you don't know what you're talking about or getting info from a screen. I was there. I was there. Hey, Tonino says, is the mole gone yet? Yeah, he's gone. The boogeyman is gone. I have a feeling he'll be back, though. He can't stay away. And whatever. Cable going out tonight and off and on <clears throat> all day long. Damn. Gotta get your cable fixed, boy. Are you coming back on later tonight? I don't think so, Lance. I don't think you're going to see me till Monday. Then try to do another show Monday morning. Or maybe, uh, you know, if FBS does a show at night, he wants to invite me on, I'll make an appearance on FBS's show. But that's about it. My own show, I'll do one on Monday morning for Memorial Day. We'll celebrate and try to survive the ghetto again. And we're not going to cry about it. <laughs> it's a grown... Look at that one. It's grown a fucking beard. Catch him. Mood. Instead of dude, it's mood. Lee has weaseled his way back into Mob 2. No. I wouldn't say that. FBS is dead set against it, so... I don't think he's uh, coming back to Mob 2, but he could definitely make an appearance every now and then, you know, say hello. He is, uh, you know, a part of this thing, I guess. He's been here since the beginning. He's been a protagonist in the story of Mob 2, so I guess he's like a necessary evil. What would, the, what would Mob 2 be without Lee Cole? It's like Peter Pan without Captain Hook, you know? You gotta have the arch nemesis. And uh, there's plenty of the worst people out there I could think of than uh, him. So, uh, but I'm, you know, he's a controversial figure. Some people uh, he pisses off, some people get annoyed, some people like him. What do you want me to do? Either way, he's good for controversy. And uh, yeah. All right, Lance, yeah. Yeah, if FBS wants me on the show later, I'll come on if I'm able to. More like Shrek without the donkey, somebody said. How the fuck? <clears throat> Albaz's comments were removed in the chat. Yeah, I noticed that with the people making comments, and then I, I try to show them, and it won't let me uh, do it. it. Says it's already been held for review. Yeah, I know. And then I have to keep refreshing, you know, to get the chat to work. The chat's messed up. I think they did some weird update. But how come I could have sworn Albaz had a fucking wrench? Hold on. Let me see what's going on here. Let me look at my chat. The hell is he talking about? Look at this weirdo. South Loop. 
Yeah, I heard that fucking uh, that coward scam artist in Florida is talking about Don Berlin now. Fucking idiot. And he's got his little Simpson here uh, talking shit. Guy's desperate, man. Grabbing for straws. What a joke. You too, Bobby. Thank you for being here. Salute, Bobby. Yeah. So don't get the wrong idea here, folks, you know. Lee's not coming back to MobTube. He's got his own thing going on. And, uh, you know, certain people wouldn't like it anyway, so. But he could stop by and say hello once in a while. I don't see a problem with that. Makes for a better conversation instead of just breaking Tony Pizza's balls the whole show, you know. What you know about speaking Yiddish, boy? You're a mensch. You're a friggin' mensch. In a non-homosexual way. Did Albaz get blocked? Let me see. I'll fucking... I got nobody blocked, so... Uh, well, a few people right now, but... uh should be easy to find. I don't want Albaz block, god damn it. Now, you're going to make me go looking for this guy. Hold on. How is there still people blocked over here? I could have sworn, oh my god. I still have over 300 people blocked. What the fuck? And I, I can't unblock them. They're all scumbags anyway, so maybe I'll leave them. But let me find Albaz. Yeah. I unblocked a lot of people, but um, a lot of people are still blocked, and they're all the scumbags too. Good. Good, good. Why is Rick the Tank blocked? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm just going to try to unblock these people again. What the fuck? Oh, John Abenda. Look, I got John Abenda blocked. John Abenda left us a long time ago. Things were never the same. Yeah, after John Abenda left, that really changed Mob Tube. It just wasn't the same anymore. You got fucking yard, bird? No, I don't see Albaz blocked. All right. Well, now I, I unblocked those people too, just to be safe and uh, make sure Albaz got unblocked. Okay, let me look. Oh, Albaz does have a wrench. Can't be blocked. Yeah. Oh, FBS. Look at this. Look what the cat dragged in. FBS in the house. Yizzo. What up, man? We were just winding on down the show. Yardbird. You got fucking Yardbird. I wouldn't talk about Don Berlin if I was so flow. Yeah, he's barking up the wrong tree. Fucking idiot. He's desperate, man. He's looking for attention. He's just attacking anybody now. You unblock John Abenda. I did. I just did. Everybody's unblocked. That's how many people I had blocked. I had 500 I unblocked, and then there were still 300 more sitting there. Oh, no. Whitney Lee, who wants to smoke? <laughs> right out the gate. Look at this shit. Right out the gate. Uh, look what the yard bird dragged in. Yeah, look what the yard bird dragged in. You got yard bird, FBS. It's got fucking yard bird. You fucking turkey based a baby. The turkey based, uh, a lot of people using turkey baster this weekend. They like use it to pour sauce on ribs and shit. FBS says, uh, 
Tony No Show is a scumbag who lies about and bashes good men. A few good men. Yeah, he's a fucking belligerent animal. I think he's got rabies or something. Something's wrong with him. He's definitely got rabies. Or mange. Mange? Mange. Yeah. He's got mange. Salute, FBS. Great for an enema. <laughs> yeah, it is a great for an enema, yeah. Joseph Montanero, I got my family baster out for the holidays. The family baster. Make sure you wash it. Wash it good before you every, before you use it every time. Anyway, salute to all of you. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's a good one, Yardbird. The one I was made from. Wow. You're admitting to be a turkey based baby. There's nothing wrong with that. The special turkey baster. And we're going to need a turkey baster to ar ar artificially inseminate your mother. Ah, you see? I'm an evil guy. Anyway, uh, I guess on that note, I'll end the show that way. Good job, Antonino. Good job. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and Antonino, thank you for everything you're doing, man. You're always buying me memberships for people. You're the man, bro. You're the man. I can't thank you enough. All of you that support this channel means a lot to me. It's not a lot of you, but for the few that do, I appreciate your blessings. Thank you. Oh, shut up. Here we go with the troll shit. You guys are in trouble now because some fucking idiot in Florida did a stupid show that, you know, lies and, you know, go ahead and believe his lies and bullshit. Go ahead. You people will fucking learn. There's more exposure to come. PPP, a whole bunch of shit. Tech scams. But this is not that type of show today. We'll leave that for another show, another day. Maybe next week. Anyway, enjoy your weekend, people. Stay safe. Stay dangerous. Stay classy. Try to be nice to each other. And no drinking and driving. Enjoy the festivities. God bless America. God bless our veterans. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show. Peace out, people. Until next time, MobTube. Salute.